Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Hold on, just one moment. Okay, I think I'm, uh... Whoa, that was really loud, huh? Anyways, now I'm at an acceptable volume. So how is it going, everybody? Hello, welcome. Whew, huh. Woo-wee. This is weird, huh? So today... Hold on, let me, let me pull up my camera here. Hey, everybody! This is what I look like! Face reveal! <laughs> How's it going? Everyone, Alec and Stuff here. Today is a very strange day. Number one, because we are playing a game that I haven't played in about eight months, right? So back when I first played this game... Hold on, it's kind of bright in here. Back when I first played this game on stream, uh, what was it, like... Eight months ago was... Like, October? November-ish? Anyway, it's been a while since I played this game, but number two! I actually don't have a number two, but I'm really excited to get back into ARMS again, because this game is, like, good, and I feel like it just did not get the support that it that it very well deserved, because it's a fun game, right? It just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone else will be able to articulate it a little bit better, but I feel like this game had so much potential, and we just didn't see it live up to as good as it could have been. I don't know. Maybe it was just a timing thing, too. Back at that time and period, you know, back in 2017, you had Splatoon 2, you had uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, you also had Mario Odyssey coming on later that year, Mario Kart was coming out later in that year as well, so maybe it was just a timing thing, you know, where so many other good games were coming out that people just overlooked this one. So I'm um, really excited to get back into it, and for those that don't know, for those that don't know, I pretty much solo main Ribbon Girl in this game, only because I never actually scraped the surface even of competitive play in this game. But I did find an affinity towards Ribbon Girl. She was like one of the first characters I ever was like, oh my god, this feels great. So that's what we're going to be playing a lot of today. And the original idea for today's stream was to play some ranked games online um, and see what, 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 what we can make happen. But um, it just dawned on me, I actually don't know how active the community is online in this game. So we're going to find out together. Anyway, um, hope everyone's having a wonderful Thursday evening. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I see you all in the chat. Rachel the Octoling, Calamity Ganon, welcome. How's it going? Um, Evie as well. How are you doing, my friend? Flying Galaxy. Flying Galaxy, welcome to the stream. Kaboom Man, Bumpa Dumpa. It's Bumpa Dumpa. I feel like it's been a while. How are you doing, my friend? Octopanky's here too. Pika Power. Um, we've also got Squid Alec, Root Snail is here. Morks as well. The whole gang, really. Or most of the whole gang. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. So, um, before we get started, though, huge shout out to our friends over at me for buying myself this game because uh, Nintendo didn't send me it. So, <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today again. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how things go today. So, we're gonna go ahead and try. We're gonna try our darndest to find some ranked matches here to play online. If not, um, we'll probably have to go to like party matches or something else. So, you know. Now that I think about it, I probably should warm up for like a match or two, do you think? I actually- I, oh god. Oh no. What the- <laughs> Oh no, we've got Eevee on the other team. I don't remember the controls! Oh god. Um... Christ. Okay. <laughs> this is basically- <laughs> That is so funny. Okay. So, my guess is that there are so little people searching for games right now that Eevee went on his game <laughs> and searched for some there and then just ended up finding me anyway. <laughs> oh my god, this has been so long since I played this game! Two Rip and Girl players! Oh my god! A thousand! Okay. My god, I don't even remember this. I, I'm not ranked 10, so I don't think I can play. You can. I'm pretty sure you can. I feel like at this point in the game's lifespan, there are so few people searching that it's gonna basically just give you whoever it finds, despite their rank. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't even remember! Eevee says, oh god, I don't know how to play. Me neither! Me neither. I mean, it's slowly coming back to me a little bit, but I know there was a lot of different, like, strategies and stuff that I would implore beforehand. Ugh, it's Morkso now, Reed. You want me to call you Morkso now? Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> Time to download arms again. Heck yeah, Root Snail, let's get you in some games. Oh, I remember, like, I ended up 
like stopping playing arms for a while shortly after Dr. Coyle was a thing. So she's like the green lady, the green evil scientist lady. So I haven't played too much since then. I know there's like is Springatron a character that came out after her? I don't remember. Destroy him, Eevee? How dare! This is my home turf. Well, actually, it's not my home turf, but... You know what? Oh my god! I'm so low HP! Oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> this has been- it's been so long since I've played this game. Holy cow. I mean, Kid Cobra, so re- Dude, I- I could not get a handle on Kid Cobra at all. At all. Did I buy arms, Gibran? I don't, it's honestly up to you. I would say if it's full price, probably not. If it's still $60, I would say no. If it's like 30, then I would say yeah, sure. It's a pretty decent game, it's pretty fun. Good luck finding anybody to play online because Eevee gets on his copy of arms and searches for a game online right when I do and finds me immediately. I find that so funny. Didn't this happen last time when we were streaming this game too? Eight months ago, Eevee? I don't know, he'll have to jog my memory on that one, but oh my god. All right. But I don't have money? Well, then there's your answer. <laughs> there's your answer right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I think you got- you're only one that got the moves, huh? I got some moves too. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this, by the way. I am so happy that you guys are even showing up for a game like this. Ah, uh, it's so fun. Like, it's it's honestly, like, I made a Quick Talks video on this, like, two years ago. And in that video, I kind of, if I remember correctly, I kind of went on about how awesome it is that this game is more centered around the characters being interesting and fun, rather than just the core mechanics of fighting itself, which I guess there's some trade-offs to that. But... Man, some of these characters have some really fun designs to them, and I can really applaud them for that. Is this arms I see playing? It's Craft Star! Yes, it is! <laughs> yes, it is! Oh my god, Amy! <laughs> I jumped right into that. Oh my god. <sighs> oh man, what a match. What a match. Rootsnail says seven minutes and you'll see me in. Heck yeah, Rootsnail, let's get some games in. We're gonna be like the only three people playing this online right now. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's do a rematch here, Amy. I'm ready. I'm ready. Show me your moves. <laughs> as Captain Falcon would say. Oh, man. I really wish they would bring like an arms character or something into uh, into Smash. That would be so cool. So, how do I, how do I switch colors? I forgot how to change uh, color costumes. Yep, I'm toxic. Aiden, welcome to the stream. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into our arms day. How are you doing? Oh my god, Twintel, my worst nightmare. Alright, alright. Yeah, rank has been fairly lax for the last while. So, Planet's Craft Star, are you an arms player? I have so many questions for you if you are. Oh, Eevee, you should have punched! You should have thrown a punch! You hold the left stick and then press left, right, or down. That's what I thought it was. I was doing the right stick, but thank you for clearing that up. Oh, I shouldn't have punched there. I'm gonna throw that out. Not today, mister. Oh, I timed that so wrong. I timed that so wrong. Oh, I missed! Are you kidding me? I missed! <laughs> Rifa, welcome to the stream. How are you guys doing? Oh my god! Whoa! Eevee's going for these grabs! Oh, spicy! Beemian says Min Min for the win-win. <laughs> Min Min's like the only other character I have any sort of slight understanding of how to play. Ribbon Girl's my best, though. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. No! Oh. Okay. Jesus. What is your favorite stage in this game? Probably Dr. Coil's stage. I can't remember the name of them though. Oh god. <laughs> Don't forget that Ribbon can jump more than once in the air. Oh yeah! See, it's all coming back to me. The last time I played this game was about like eight months ago. So I have forgotten so much of the mechanics of this game. Oh right though, thank you. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
could do that for some mix-ups. Oh my god! Foil stage is name redacted, that's what it is. Isn't the song called Name Redacted too? I'm so scared to fight Eevee. Twintel is a scary monster. How did I miss that? There we go. At least we got something. Alright, Eevee. This is the round where I actually do some work. There it is. There it is. We got the lead now. Woo! Oh man, I wish that follow-up would hit. Oh well. Okay. Alright, this is the round. I said that already, but... No! <laughs> I shouldn't have specialed there! I panicked! I panicked! Open a friend lobby? But you can do that, right? I forgot. I totally forgot. Hold on. We're going to do that in a little bit. We're going to get some rank gains in, though. I want to see if I can get to level 11, finally. Yo, why did they change Smash Brothers? I know, this new patch is hype. <laughs> Alright, we got this round. We got this round. Oh, no! No! Who wins this? Do I win this? Oh, he barely had a little... <laughs> I had barely enough HP to, to have more than him. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nice Nightbot is here too. I know. Nightbot gets around. Ooh! That hits! That hits! Ooh, the grab! Let's go! This is our game! Ooh, there it is. There it is. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. Getting some of my mojo back, I think. Oh my god. No. No grabbing. Eevee! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow, dude. Oh, he's so lucky. It, like, blocks your punches as it's going in when you activate your special. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Jesus! There it is. There it is. That's the lead we needed. Oh, my God! Let's go! Come on! My hits! Oh, my God! I tried to angle that and follow him? I'm so scared right now. Oh, let's go! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my skill's coming back. GG's, Eevee. That was an intense round. <laughs> New Wii Sports Boxing look at nice. I know. Oh, this game is so fun. This game is so fun. Nice evade. Thank you. <laughs> the reason there wasn't an ARMS character in the main library of Ultimate because Yabuki find out, found out about ARMS too late into development. Oh, no. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. You got a little bit... <laughs> you got a little bit cocky. Oh, what the heck? Flame Labs, yo, you gotta relax. Sonic Boom? Wait, this is a different person. People are actually matchmaking in this game? Oh, let's go. Sonic Boom, level nine, rank nine? <laughs> I forgot how slow they are. It's okay, Eevee, it's okay. <laughs> I had a but he didn't accept Lamau. Did I really? I feel like I went through all my friend requests the other day. I can go through it in a little bit, though. Oh, dude, Springatron! Springtron! Is it Springatron or Springtron? Anyways, he's my worst nightmare in this game. Oh, God. I don't know what to do against this guy. Springtron, yeah, I don't know. He's always been a character that I haven't really done too well against. I don't know why that is. There it is. Follow up, the follow up. Yes, yeah, the EMP thing, that's so annoying. Ah, I timed that wrong again. 
Back away, sir. There it is. Yeah, like close quarters too. Oh, this is going well. This is going well. Oh my god, that grab almost hit. It doesn't seem like this tribe really wants to use EMP though. I'm noticing that. I keep waiting for him to throw it out, but it's not. Not. He's only ranked 9 though, so maybe that explains it. In all the hours that I've played, I'm only ranked 10. But I feel like that's not really anything close to cool in this game. <laughs> Pasta Squid, welcome to the stream. Oh my god, you won! Oh, come on. Just let it end. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Benjo, welcome to the stream. Uh, Laurel says, hey there, just good to say hi, and I can't stay because I have a play today. Good luck on your play, Laurel. Thanks for having fun. Or thanks, sorry, what did I even say? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have fun. And, uh, feel free to tell us all about it whenever you get back home in the Discord. Alright. Spring tr oh, there it is. See, he was way too far that time, though. He was way too far that time. How often can he use EMP? Have gymnastics soon? Oh, boy. Physical activity? No thanks! I'm all about that arms life. Overwatch, but every time I lose, I take a shot. Good luck with that, Aiden. I feel like a lot of this matchup is just spacing, no? Just because that EMP has such a, it feels like such a long range. There we go, there we go. Oh my god! I'm never really sure on what the timing of that invulnerability is. I'm just playing really safe this round. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, he's not EMP. That was a good idea. That was a good call out, whoever said that. He is really not throwing out EMP at all. Oh, he's missed every special too! Pillar, save me! Oh my god. His shield! That was a good shield though. Okay. Dude, ah! Oh. I keep wanting to follow it up with a grab, but he has the invulnerability that eats it up. Oh, Jesus. We have 10 seconds here. We can just live. This one's in the bag. This one's in the bag. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I tried to grab again, but it's okay. Oh, my God. Eh. So, Rifa in uh, Planet's Craft Star, are you guys still, like, to this day, arms players? Because you guys have some really good insight that you're giving me. Planet says, staying mid-range is good against Tron, close enough to punish EMP, and far enough that the deflect doesn't punish you easily. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. Rifa says, the timing is super hard for the deflex, it's really just a short moment to punish. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna do a new challenge here. Springtron is just somber, I know. Every time I think of the abbreviation EMP, I just think of... Apagandoing the Lucis. <laughs> yeah, this game is awesome, Spenjo, I agree! I agree. We were just talking about this actually before, like right as the stream began. This one of the one of the things that I really wish about uh, arms is that it. What am I trying to say? I feel like this game would have been so much better had it released at a time where the schedule for Switch wasn't so crowded. I feel like, that, and honestly, that's my opinion as to why this game didn't really take off like I wanted it to. Um, and I feel like it was just timing, because you had games like Spring, uh, Splatoon, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, and uh, Mario Odyssey coming out later in the same year. So all those games put together, I feel like didn't allow ARMS the, the uh, amount of growth that it should have gotten, because this game is awesome. I love ARMS. I just wish more people played it is all. <laughs> it's awesome to see an ARMS stream. Welcome to the stream, Super End Guy. How are you doing? <laughs> What's up with that friend request, Alec? Well, did you just see? I just did it, okay? <laughs> now we're gonna do a ranked match again and see who we find. See if anyone's playing still. Refund and Lee playing as scraps are all about, are all part of the arms community, along with I. Oh, Spenjo, that's awesome! Also, Spenjo, I know you've been here before, but long time no see. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. <laughs> if you wanted to play with it and more people, I host weekly events for NAEU. No way! Where at? Maybe I might be able, I might be into that. Large Dan, welcome to the stream. I'd be British, Alec. Flying Galaxy, is your accent super awesome like I'm thinking it is? 
Rachel, thank you so much for subscribing. That's kind of funny that you joined the Discord before you subscribed to the channel, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you so much. <laughs> Vanilla says, hey, Alec, the stream almost snuck up on me, that, but, at night, but I made it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Welcome to the stream, Vanilla. Uh, Morxo says, what button is the EMP? I don't know. Honestly, I do not play <laughs> anyone else, really, but Ribbon Girl and a little bit of Min Min. I don't know anything else about the other characters. <laughs> It's been a while, Alec. It has been a while, but welcome back, Large uh, Dan. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ooh, boy. Super End Guy says, I might as well be the only person to consider ARMS uh, as their favorite game of all time. Well, I don't think you're alone on that one. I don't think you're alone on that one. Uh, Planet Scrapstar says, it's, cheap. it's a cheap blow, but if you don't mind me self-promoting, there's links to stuff on my YouTube channel. I mostly stream on Twitch, though. Fair enough. Fair enough. You... Here's the thing, like... I normally would say yes, but, um... Nightbot, uh, does not allow links in the, uh, YouTube stream. So if you have, like, a Twitter or a Discord or something, you can feel free to send me the links there. Arms doesn't interest me at all. That's fair, Aiden. That's fair. But the thing is, is that it's still, like, a... I feel like it's a good game. I feel like it's a really good game. It just didn't take off as much as I wanted it to. Uh, Rachel says, a friend told me about you, and I wanted to sub on stream. Well, thank you so much, Rachel. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, by the way. I was saying, just click on me later. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Okay. Game Master Tom says, cool to see more people into ARMS. I've been into ARMS. I mean, the thing is, is like, I'm into ARMS, but like, I don't play it a whole lot. You know what I mean? So, I've had it since day one, and I don't have a whole lot of playtime on it, because there are so many other games to play on the Switch, but... I love and adore this game. The concept is awesome, all the characters are amazing, and the soundtrack is probably one of the best that you'll ever find on the Switch. Thus far. Thus far. I feel like ARMS' soundtrack is just so catchy, it's just so upbeat, and it it really fits the material that it's being played behind, you know? Because it sound it sounds very uplifting and like it sounds like it would be a soundtrack to like a, a boxing match going on, you know? I have a huge accent, Alec. Here's the do, do you think I have an accent, then? Because I've heard that Americans don't really have one. Uh, Planet Strapstar says, I remember I can DM you stuff later if you catch me elsewhere. For sure, yeah, I'm down for that. Super End Guy says, the game needs influence. Makes me makes me mad to see so much misconceptions that turn people off of the game. Yeah, I feel like people write this game off way sooner than, than what is fair. Because I feel like, should everyone give this game a chance, they'll probably find something that they like about it. But I've been down for this game since day one. I just kind of fell off after um, some other games came out for the Switch and stuff. Most notably Splatoon. That's the that's the game that like pulled me away from the summer of 2017. Vanilla says, I've seen vids on this game, but no one has told me who is the best waifu in the game. That is clearly 100% Ribbon Girl. Don't listen to these Min Min players, okay? Oh, here's Eevee again. <laughs> Lars Dan says, sorry I'm in and out of the stream to one of my favorite YouTubers I live stream. That's totally fine, Lars Dan. Platoon was a beast. It was. It was. At the time, it was, like, really, really big. Min Min for sure. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. That's going to be a point of debate. <laughs> it's, I feel like it's always between Ribbon Girl and Min Min. All right. All right. Round three, Eevee. This is the tiebreaker. Hi, sorry I'm a little late. Welcome to the stream, Happy Fox. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday evening. Whoa! We're both playing very safe here. None of us have thrown a single punch. We're just staring at each other. Menacingly! Okay, that was one. That was one. Whoa! Whoa, he's going for these grabs. He's trying to grab follow-up on me. Whoa! There it is. Okay, got first hit. First hit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. He missed, but I shouldn't have done that at all. Oh my god, I tried to grab it! <laughs> I like this game because the stretchy arms, it looks funny. It is such a cool concept. I wish it caught on more than it did, but yes, I agree. I completely whiffed my entire special. I'm sad! Oh, there we go. The grab goes through. We're saving this run. Oh my god, that... See, that's what I'm always trying to do. Let's follow up with immediate punch after the get-up. Oh, there we go! 
Nice punish, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I, it's, it's clear to me that we have a couple of current day ARMS players in the stream. Do you guys have any sort of input on like how I'm playing and if, if there's any tips you can give me and to improve? Because I feel like I'm decent, you know? Considering the amount of time in total that I put into the game, I feel like I'm decent. Oh my god! I was trying so hard to hit you and not get hit at the same time. <laughs> Oh man, if you stop punching for a minute doing rush, you can realign your aim and try hitting them again. That's, ah, oh, I need to do that more. I just get so anxious and try to throw it out very, um, and like as soon as possible. Oh my god. But to, I think someone asked me this earlier, but um, to answer the question about the party crash, I've been playing this game for so long that I've actually never played in a party crash before. If I remember correctly, the party crashes weren't a thing until like sometime down the road of the game's lifespan. And I don't think I've played in a single party crash before. What does that even mean? Is that like events? From what I understand, it's basically like if you play this character online during this time period, you earn points for them or something, right? How do you counter spam grabs? You punch through it. Oh my god! Woo! Alright, Eevee. This is the match. Oh my god! <laughs> that one... That round went so well for me the entire time. I don't know what I did, but everything just worked out, you know? <laughs> Holy cow, GG's, Eevee. GG's. You want a badge? Cool! I forgot how to block GG. Hold on, wait. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go look at this party crash thing. So let's do, um, where is it? X? There it is. So... Level up and win prizes. Arms Labs is throwing the event of the season. Join in, win points, and raise your lab level. When the event ends, collect- Oh, so it's like a- Here at Arms Labs, we're eager to see certain pairs of test sub- or fighters in action. Use one of the featured fighters to earn extra points. After the event, the results of the exper- I mean- <laughs> Sorry, party, and each fighter's point totals will be announced. Oh! So it's like- it's like a weird blend of the Everybody Votes channel and Splatfests, it seems. Like Splatfest, but not as good. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it feels like very inspired by Splatfest, but it kind of does it in its own way. Interesting. Well, okay. That's kind of cool. We're going to keep queuing for ranked here. Um, let me see. Let me catch up on chat. Super N guys says, do you plan on streaming this game more consistently? Um... You know, I've thought about it in the past, and I actually wasn't sure if people were even interested in this game, but... <laughs> I, I really wasn't expecting this many people to be, here, to be even here for, like, today's stream, so... Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm leaning more towards it, I guess, considering all the people that are here now, so thank you all for tuning in. Uh, it's a Splatfest. Yeah, basically, Eevee. Are you gonna pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2? Um, probably not, Happy Fox. I'm gonna get it day one, though. I'm gonna get it day one. I'm going to be seeing if Nintendo's going to set it to me first, though. Uh, Splatfest without the Splatfest. Basically, that's what I can tell. There are only two more Party Crash events uh, left as it's looking. Holy cow, so the Splatfests and the Party Crashes are ending around the same time. The hashtag ARMS really had helped me catch it. Uh, I try to keep track of it when I'm around. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you, Planet Scrap Star. You too, Rifa, as well. I think the ARMS community is always happy to see another person who streams ARMS, so they will support it. <laughs> well, I'll definitely consider uh, streaming this more often in the future. Considering, though, that there are so many games coming out this summer, like Mario Maker 2, uh, Fire Emblem 3 Houses, and probably more that we don't know about yet. I'm gonna wait for E3 to see what those announcements look like. But being, all that that, being that that's all happening, it's gonna feel very hard to be able to fit it into our schedule, just because it's gonna be so packed over the summer. But I'm gonna try my best! If you guys want to see more ARMS, well, we will play more ARMS, because I have so much fun streaming this every time we play. It, this is seriously such a fun game. Uh, lol, when I'm bored, I usually look for ARMS streams on YouTube and Twitch. I was successful this time. Awesome! 
So what's the current landscape for the for the arms community then? Do not do that like God, I keep getting mixed up on my words. Do not that many people stream this game nowadays? Let's just say I learned it because my friend were watching you and I wanted to watch, so you're the reason I learned English. Wait, really? Wait, are you talking to me, Flying Galaxy? There can be some cases where the community wears out quickly, but overall you'll definitely get support here and there. I'll try to help whenever I can. Well, thank you so much, Planet. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I'm pretty much the only consistent streamer. <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's awesome that you're the biggest lifeline for the community. I think that's awesome that you're carrying the torch like that. I think we're gonna do, uh, like, a couple more ranked matches, and then we could probably switch over to, uh, like, a party match or something. I'll set up a friend lobby or something. You are the reason we're playing Galaxy. That's awesome. That's awesome. I've heard English is a very hard language to learn, so I feel honored that you felt it necessary to learn because of me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh god, we've got Eevee again. <laughs> All right, Eevee. All right, this is our fourth match here. <laughs> Eevee says, oh no. <laughs> Your channel is way smaller than it should be. Well, thank you, Happy Fox. I appreciate that. I try to bring the most entertaining content I possibly can for you guys. And hopefully you guys think that there's some sort of entertainment value from what you're watching. Dang, I feel like I need to make some sort of epic backstory on how I joined the stream. <laughs> To say, like, I don't know, I don't even know, like, get creative with it. You know, it doesn't have to be true. I, I, I'm still down. <laughs> you can make something up. <laughs> oh my god, Eevee! Whoa, he's leveled up! I love this, I love this uh, map, by the way. Lollipop is such an awesome concept for a character. Alright, Eevee. You may have gone gone mode for a second there, but I can bring this back. Oh my god! Oh, I tried to... <laughs> I tried to dodge out of that. Oh, darn it. These grabs! I feel like my grabs never go through, but today, they are really doing well. You guys are giving me the power I need. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? That went through my special! Science cannot explain what just happened in front of my... in front of my very eyes. Yeah, you got connection again. Pasta, welcome back. <laughs> Whoa! Eevee, relax! Oh my god, he's going god mode! Via Dolce is in the counterpick stages in arms, known for being a very aggressive stage with its narrow, winding pathways. It's easy to find oneself cornered. That's what I'm feeling! Oh my god, just let me gra- I'm dead. <laughs> Eevee's gonna bring this back. We're gonna be tied again if he wins this. <laughs> if the zoo has one less elephant tonight, it's not my fault. What the heck does that even mean? Eevee went Ultra Instinct? He did. He did. He went God Mode for a second there. Okay. Oh, that grab was insane! <laughs> Probably not, but that felt cool. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I should have punched instead. Poop. <laughs> These grabs, what am I doing? Alright, here we go. That's a pretty good special. Almost 300, 295. Alright, alright. Oh, if I should have... I should have angled that a little to the left. There we go. You're doing a great job. Whoa! I have such a lead. If I lose this, I'm actually Potato Brain. Dude, you're negative 2%! Game, please! Oh, God. Oh, God. I just gotta whisper sweet secrets into his ear and he'll die. Oh, my God, he's so low. I don't want to special this. I want to save it until the next round. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we are all potato brain. I'm baked potato brain. Hey, spicy. 
GG, alright, another, another good round, Eevee. It's the final one. The final one. Just time amount? I probably should have, but... I don't know, when they're that low, I just kind of feel like I want to finish it. Maybe that's too aggressive. I'm so used to Smash. I totally forgot timeouts were a thing. Oh, what? Did that hit me on the return? Two forty, two fifty. Okay, all right. Decent, very deep. Oh, that hit! Oh my goodness! There we go. Let's get these grabs. Oh, I missed. Ah, I dodged the wrong way. Oh my god! No! <laughs> I mistimed it. I mistimed it. I thought it was gonna end sooner. There it is! Another grab! Eevee! Oh boy! Ooh, very nice, very nice. Oh my goodness. Dewey Mama! Oh, come on! That light punch to my face. That was so rude. No, why'd I do that? Oh no! That was a massive waste! Oh crap. I'm gonna time this out. It's gonna be patient. Can't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, these matches are so stressful but so fun at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> GG's EV. That was another good round. <laughs> Holy cow. Being on low health usually makes you more anxious, I find. That's what I feel. I feel like I panic a lot when I'm low health like that. <laughs> I get so close yet so far away. <laughs> oh, EV. Those were some fun rounds, though. These are just as fun as the rounds we played so long ago, like in the last time we streamed this. All right. All right. I just mostly understand why people are doing the floss in streets. Why? It's an awkward dance. Why would they do that? Maybe I'm just salty because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> uh, like, when are you going to stream Minecraft? One day, maybe. One day, maybe, but I don't really feel like Minecraft is a very attractive game for me right now. I feel like there's so many other things that I'd rather play. Oh, this stage. This stage. It's over, Eevee. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, that was... All right, it's over, Eevee. I have the high ground. Jesus, Jesus. Ow, ow. All right, now he has the high ground. Now we both have the high ground. No one's gonna win. Gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Oh, wow! Oh, I couldn't dodge that one, I don't think. You said Ribbon Girl can jump up to five times? Welcome back, anime. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I'm getting curse smacked in the face. Ooh, 75! Like, what do you think of Fortnite? It's okay. I've only ever played like an hour of it and then I got bored. I play a r like a real lot of Apex, though. That's the only Battle Roy Royale game that I can actually play. Oh my god! Oh, that was a good special. That was good. Oh boy. Uh, so what team are you planning to go on with the Party Crash? Who what are the teams? What are the teams? I know I just looked at it, but I totally forgot. I see Roots and Ill will stay away, mate. It's corrupting my friends. What's corrupting your friends? I'm lost! I'm so lost! All I'm trying to do is win this match. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. So that was a good one, that was a good one. 290! These are going very well, this is going very well. Oh, 
one is than this? Okay, well, I'm still full health. It's fine. Fine. We can take that. We can take these hits. Oh my god, you're one. You're one. What is this? Uh, checkers, this is arms. This is arms. This is a fighting game that came out in 2017 for the Switch. Super fun. Super fun game, Checkers, if you ever have the time to look it up. Crackle Lock, welcome to the stream. I hope arms will come back with a vengeance. So underrated. Agreed! I've played it more than Splatoon 2. Okay, I haven't played it more than Splatoon 2, but I wholeheartedly agree with you that this is a very underrated game. And one that I feel like a lot of Switch owners currently just don't know about. I feel like it flew under a lot of people's radars. Oh, what the heck just hit me? Oh, I didn't want to punch there. Oh, I knew he was going to grab. I knew he was going to grab. Aiden says, I'm going to watch Anime Alexia. Have a good one, Aiden. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, All these exploding arms are insane. That's exactly what I was saying earlier, Crackalock. That's exactly what I was saying. I feel like it was mostly just a timing thing. Like, there was that, Breath of the Wild was not, uh, not so soon before, and there was, like, Mario Kart the same year, and then later on that same year, I believe, was also, uh, Mario Odyssey. So there was a lot of games on the Switch's radar, or sorry, the Switch's library schedule, if you will, um, that were coming out the same year in 2017, and I feel like ARMS just wasn't like, recognizable enough to compete? I don't know. Oh, that was a very close round again. EVG, geez. These are some really, really fun matches. Holy cow. Planet and Rifa and Cracklewalk. Do you guys have arms? Do you guys want to play? Or are you guys too high ranked to play against me? Am I, am I bad? Is 11 not so good anymore? <laughs> I remember when like 15 was the highest rank you can get. I don't know if it's still the same anymore. You didn't land much, but it made a big difference. I felt like... I feel like playing patient is, in this game is so rewarding, you know? Alright. Some game if you open a friendly lobby. 20 is the cap. Oh, okay. Well, has it always been 20 or did they raise it? I don't actually know if 15 was the level cap. Maybe my memory's just wrong. I need to be at gymnastics by 7, so I'll need to be going soon. Sounds good, Flying Galaxy. Thanks for hanging out with us nonetheless. Evie's using that original Ribbon Girl skin, I see. Still for a new IP, 2.1 million in a year is impressive for ARMS. It is. It is. I hope there's like an ARMS 2 or something. That'll be really awesome to see what they could do and improve on the core formula of the game. I feel like if there was just like a little bit more depth to the fighting mechanics, this game would have a, lar a lot larger of an audience. Like, a lot more interest, I guess. Because that's what, that's what I kind of felt was part of ARMS' problem, too. In addition to, like, the whole timing thing. Oh my god! But then again, I might just play this at a low enough level to not even be aware of the dance mechanics. So don't even take that as gospel. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! Whew, that dodge. It also had very little content at launch. I don't I hardly... Here's the thing. I bought it at launch, and I hardly remember what the game was like back then. I'm so used to seeing all the new characters and stuff like that that it, I don't even remember what was not in what was and wasn't in the game at the time. I think I'm going to lose this round. Eevee's just hitting me so hard. Oh my god, how did that hit me and not you? Ah, alright. Alright, time out on that one. It was still more content than Street Fighter V, dude. Street Fighter V was such a letdown. That's another game I got on a, on launch too, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna play something else. I still have it and everything, but... Man, 
I was so excited, and then, like, you launch it, and you're just like, what? <laughs> oh my god. I have to go now. My dad's coming, so goodbye. I'll be watching the stream after it's over. Thanks so much, Flying Galaxy. I appreciate you. Good luck at gymnastics, by the way. Whoa! Oh, all right. Dude, Max Brass, man. What a character. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't think Mario Kart Nazi put a dent in arms' as recognition. Sploon 2 was a direct competitor because it is a competitive online game. That's there's that's true. That's true. Maybe I'm thinking more from the perspective of like a you know, like the general audience. I feel like it's hard for them to justify buying so many games for the Switch. You know, despite the fact that they're all good. I feel like the average Switch owner only buys like the big name Switch games, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my butt. I don't even. I don't know anything. <laughs> the point is, is Arms is a great game, and I wish it just got more recognition because it really deserves it. Oh my god! How would I'm gonna have an aneurysm? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was like, I was like, these punches feel like they should be hitting you, but they're not. I'm getting bamboozled. Uh, man. Checker says, I I like I main Link in Smash now. Have been practicing on Smash 3DS. Checkers, the day you get Smash Ultimate, we have to fight. We have to fight online. Day one. <laughs> oh my god. Eevee's like really bringing out the big, gun, big guns now. Oh, we're at a top. Oof. I just realized we're one to one in this match. Oh, crap. Oh, that's gonna hit so hard. That's gonna hit all of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna read your comments here in a second, Planet. I don't wanna get distracted too much. He's really. He's just pummeling me right now! Evie, you gotta relax! Okay. Oh, I tried to read the direction he was gonna jump in. Alright, weak punch, but I still hit. God, I'm getting hit so much. Jesus! Okay, what's exploding and hitting me? I feel like those punches are hitting me on the return. Okay. Alright, we can bring this back. We can bring this back. Oh, I want- I so want to land a grab right now. But it's not gonna happen, I don't think. Oh my gosh! It's not gonna happen. Eevee wins this one. <laughs> oh man. Oh, GG's. GG's Eevee. Holy cow. That was a good round. That was a good round. Alright, let me catch up here. So, uh, Planet says Via Dolce, Spar Sparring Ring, Sky Arena, Name Redacted, and Temple Grounds weren't playable stages. A lot of the audience was frustrated with Nintendo's marketing campaign too. They pushed the motion hard and got resisted hard. Yeah. It, does anyone like. As far as ARMS is concerned, does anyone actually use motion controls? Because for a while, I remember when the game first came out, all of the top players were using motion controls as their preferred way to play. And I didn't quite understand that. Is that still- is that still a thing? I- I'm not exactly sure. Checker says it's- I know, it's in the instant that I get smashed, you'll be going down! We'll see, Checkers, we'll see! Cracklewalk says the only other fighting game with an original cast like ARMS that I know is Darkstalkers. I- honestly, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I'm not used to being called Planet. Do you prefer to be called Scrap Star? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can change it if you want. Magic Vasco, welcome to the stream. It's honestly uh, pretty rare for me to drop by a YouTube stream slash channel, so I was excited to, to see the chance here. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you. It's super cool. I'm learning a lot about ARMS just based on what you're telling me. You and a couple of other people chat, so thank you. Mika, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Vanilla says, I post this question. If you can shoot your arms like springs, can they get tangled? That is something that we don't think about. Because I feel like it'd be very likely. But at the same time, if you think about it too hard, it's it's hard to discern. 
Uh, one of the top any players uses motion. Most players avoid it, though. Yeah, like, I, I tried it for a while, and it just didn't... I don't know, something didn't feel right, so I usually just default to my Pro Controller. Um, I wouldn't discard motion. In ARMS, they actually work. That's what I've heard. I've heard they're really, really responsive for ARMS. It just, I didn't click with it for whatever reason. Uh, Eevee says, I used to, but I always couldn't move that well, so I switched to controllers. Yeah, that was my big thing, is like doing the movement that I usually do with Ribbon Girl. It's so hard for me to replicate that on, uh, on Joy-Cons with motion. So that's why I switched to Pro Controller instead. Me and you are on the save wavelength there, Eevee. I'm currently using my brand channel to chat. <laughs> my main tag is Maleev. Awesome. Do their arms actually become springy like that, or is that a device they put on? I believe it's their actual arms. I don't know if the lore goes that deep, though. But I might be wrong. Did you know there is supposedly an arms comic with lore on the way? Though I'm getting mad it keeps getting delayed. I would re I would actually read an arms manga. The art style is so pretty, the characters are so likable, you know? Ah. <sighs> I feel like that'd be so cool to see. That and Splatoon would be a really cool manga to see. I know that already has one, but um, I've just never taken the time to read it. He woke up one day with the arms like that, and we go, oh, yeah, that's right. Isn't isn't that what happened? It's a, genetic, it's a genetic condition that suddenly develops in life. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. The lore is so deep. <laughs> that's what we need the manga for. <laughs> It's a device on one of the art pieces. It's shown that they are removable. Oh, so, okay, now I'm confused. Mark, so you're gonna have to explain. <laughs> uh, it's basically a mutation. That's kind of like a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I can't tell if I'd be excited or mortified to wake up to my springy arms one day. There's lore in the gallery too that you can read up on. In the gallery gallery, like in the game? Can I go right there? Whoops. Can I go there now and, and read this while we're queuing for ranked? Ooh, I don't have that much at all. I have all the Ribbon Girl ones, it looks like, though. Maybe I'm missing some. I'm probably missing some. Who am I kidding? Oh, I love all this artwork. It's so cute. All this artwork is adorable. <laughs> Cobra's hot! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> it's like I looked at chat and didn't ex that was the last thing I would have expected to read. <laughs> oh, I really want the render for this. That is such a cool character render. Ribbon Girl has some really cool artwork. All right. Um <laughs> Let's see. We're still waiting for a ranked match. It's just waiting for Eevee to finish his. Isn't Kid Cobra one of the rare cases where he was already born with arms? I don't know, actually. Mika says, seriously, this world and characters are too interesting to not have a story. I, exactly! Be it a movie, comic, story mode, or whatever. That, I would totally read a manga if, uh, if Nintendo published one about arms. It looks like a movie poster. They're all so good. I don't have that much in my gallery, unfortunately. But I would love to have some of these as, like, posters or something. Like, whoever the artist is for ARMS, like, th that does all of this material, is a god. Like, I love them. I love their art style. It looks so good. Oh, I can unlock this. Okay. It's like, I can just unlock these? How do I unlock them? Unlock all art for 3,450 coins. I do not have that. Let's unlock some of these. Let's look at them while we're waiting for this match. Hey, what's this? Fashion forward? Looks like Min Min. Ooh! This is like casual! Casual arms fighters, that's awesome! <laughs> I actually have some official art of theirs in my place. That is so cool. Oh my god, I'm jealous, Scrap Star. I'm a big fan of like the lithograph kind of thing, you know? Especially when it comes to N Nintendo IPs, because those can get really valuable over time and like really hard to obtain. So to be able to say that you have one is super cool. <laughs> That face, I know. I finally made it into a game. I'm jealous, Eevee. I'm still searching. All right. What do we got next? Mechanica? Miss Fixit. Mechanica is a brilliant engineer as she is a fighter. The Arms League often hires her to help with advanced repairs. That is super cool. Super cool. Dr. Coil? 
Dr. Coyle, let's see. After years of research, Dr. Coyle decided it was finally time to put what she's learned into practice in the ring. Cool, cool. So she's like an ex-scientist turned arms fighter. This shocking image shows Dr. Coyle hard at work conducting secret research in her lab. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she's the one that developed Hemlock, I guess? There's only 11 of the ones I have. I had to place well enough in an online tournament last year. That's super cool. That was the prize? That's awesome. I made my own arms fighter last year. Cracklewalk, did you like draw it? What do you mean? Mika says Nintendo should get Illumination to make an arms movie. Um, yes, please. I would love to see more Nintendo movies in the box office. That would be amazing. Ugh, especially considering how good Detective Pikachu was. Like, oh, that would be so cool. How do I not have the main, like the first one? This. How do I not have this? Aren't Bite's arms technically coils too? I believe they are. I believe they are. I've seen some of this artwork shared on their official Twitter account though before. Like this one. Min Min Eating Robin. <laughs> Aladdin is tomorrow. Ah! My uh, my mom and sister are gearing up to see that, and they're super excited about it. Twilight in autumn. When not fighting, Mechanica's suit doubles as her personal portable library. That is awesome. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> What's this? Thank you. Here's a neat image of all the original arm spiders together. We made this to thank everyone for supporting our crazy new sport. Heck yeah. Oh, this artwork is so cool. This artwork is so cool. I've never actually sat down and looked through the gallery before. Get other illustrations to unlock. Win the Grand Prix. Oh, some of these are tied to, like, achievements, I guess. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be the achievement page. We can... I think we can buy all these, though. What's this? Out for a stroll? The gene is sub controlled by the pupil. Ringman stopped by to check out the sparring ring the day before it opened to the public. I like this whole, like, arms fighters and casual attire look going on in some of these. That's super cool. Okay, I won my match. Eevee, I will hopefully find you whenever you start queuing again. Let's see, what is this? this? Earliest materials we have relating to the arms ability date back from 1500 years ago. However, some experts believe it, it has existed for at least 5,000 years. The hallmark coiling like a spring phenomenon can be found not just in people, but in animals and plant life as well. That is really freaky. <laughs> to imagine like a dog. Oh, here we go. There's Eevee. There he is, I'm rank 11 now, congrats! Congrats Eevee, Let, allow me to rob you of your 11 rank. Sorry, I didn't... <laughs> this is viewer battles, Alexander, welcome to the stream. How are you doing, my friend? It might as well, it might as well be, because we're, we're, we're queuing up for ranked games at the moment online. And me and Eevee have found each other at least 10 times. Okay, maybe not that much, but pretty much every game I search for, we find Eevee. But I feel like we're the only ones queuing for ranked at the moment. Like, at all. Now you dance with Eevee again. Oh no, on the Dr. Coil stage of all places. I don't like this stage too much. I don't like the conveyor belt thing. Ooh, there we go. I had to save that one. I'm back into a corner! Oh! Ranked is difficult to find new players in these days? I would imagine, yeah. I'm kind of surprised that we were able to find each other, though. Like, I I was honestly anticipating at least, like, a, a couple of other people queuing in for this game mode. But it seems to me that Eevee and I, and, like, apparently some other person, are the only ones queuing at the moment. So I'm thinking after this match, We'll probably open a, a friends arena so we can all play each other. I like your mom comes into your room with those arms. What do you do? Now she'll never have an excuse not to get me the remote. I'm just kidding. I don't actually live with my mom. <laughs> but if she walked up and like pulled up to my house like that, I'd be like, uh, okay, so I have mostly your genes. When when do, when should I expect myself to get springy arms? <laughs> He's won! There's 10 seconds though, should I risk it? No! Okay, I'm living. Oh my god, I just threw out a really weak punch. I'm actually trying to play rank as well, it's because of rank differences. Oh man. That's crazy that the game is so restrictive that it doesn't even let you play against people with higher ranks than you. The way it works in Overwatch, which is the game that I actually play ranked in, 
Like, I play a lot of that game in ranked, but... Um, when you're queuing, like, late at night for ranked in that... Uh, for, for, like, competitive games... If it can't find a game pulled with people that are the same rank as you, it'll try its best to pull from the rank below you just to fill the game. Which is usually why I try to avoid matchmaking at like anywhere past 11 p.m. Because that's what's gonna happen. But for a game like ARMS, considering how small the community is at this point, I feel like it would be more beneficial for them to kind of stretch those boundaries a little bit. So that you could actually fight against more than like two people at a time. But, you know, I guess neither here nor there. The game is very specific with regions. I wonder if that's because of lag or something. I'm gonna uh, main some more link. Bye. Have a good one, checkers. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh my god, it's cute. Oh, he's like rocket arms. Ooh, that long range grab. I didn't know you could actually break that. Lag can get hilarious in arms. I remember it in the early days when lag was pretty bad. Oh my god, he's so low. Did I risk it for the biscuit again? Let's go! Let's go! Oh, it paid off! It paid off! <laughs> oh, Alexander says, I am very sad that this game hasn't gotten more attention. So am I. So am I. It's so good, Alexander. I just kind of wish that this game gained more of an audience than it did. Oh, GG, ZV. That was such a really good round. That was a really fun round. All right. So, everyone that's in the chat right now, I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, friends lobby. So, how do we do this? How do we do this? Friends and player. Let's go ahead and create a lobby. And we're going to make it... And customizable rules. Probably do arena. That sounds more. Sounds more attractive to me. All right, I'm ranked ten now. Evie, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh crap. Hold on. Um, and do ribbon. All right, and the arena is open. And if you guys want to join in, exclamation point FC. Nightbot's about to post my friend code in the chat. Send me a friend request, and I will add you to my friends list, and we'll get you in some games. Magic Vasco says it's bad news that it's not just humans who get these springy arm things as a being that identifies as a plant. <laughs> Imagine, like, a eucalyptus tree with, like, springy arms just ready to square up with you at any time. <laughs> now I'm not going to find any- I'm sorry, Evie! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, having your arms go to outer space is hilarious. Is that what happens for lag? Oh, Morks! Morgs, what is up? Ready to start? I'm ready to start. How does arena work even? Okay. One on one. Oh, Jesus, I hate this Kid Cobra stage. If you press X, you can choose your stage preferences. I I might change that? I don't know. I don't know. Being that I don't really know what's competitively legal and what isn't in this game, I'm probably just going to leave it at all stages. Only 1v1s. Do you guys have a preference for arena, or should we do it to party mode so that you can have multiple fights going on at once? I'm going to join the lobby, though, through melee for a fight. Sounds good. Sounds good. For the arena thing, is there an option to change it to only 1v1s that can go on? Because I don't want to do, like, the volleyball thing. You can use it to remove Snake Park. Dude, I hate this stage so much. <laughs> Imagine an executor with those hearts, arms. That would be, uh, that would honestly be really scary. I like you made me quit in the middle of my Celeste B-side. I hope you're happy. Well, that's a decision you decided to make on your own, Alexander. But nonetheless, I am really happy that you're deciding to join us. <laughs> the competitive stage list is Mausoleum, DNA Lab, Scrapyard, Temple Grounds, and Sparring Ring. Aw, oh, man, Ribbon Girl stage isn't on there. Wait, hold on. Is there a way to turn off stage hazards in this game or no? The Adolce is so fun. I really like the Adolce. Can I fight that Lola pop again, please? Is that who you fought before you fought me, Eevee?
No turning off stage hazards. Oof. Oof. Buster Beach. Ooh, Buster Beach is really cool. Oh, yay, this lobby is full also. Is it really? I keep making up original characters instead of working on writing a story. I have a problem. Mika, at this point, the next time we play D&D, uh, or should I say, when we finally get the D&D uh, Discord server thing going, you'll probably have enough characters made to just make our entire campaign for us. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Oh, that was so risky, but it worked. Wait, if I... Is... is... Wait, only he can generate energy? I haven't fought one of these guys in so long. D&D Discord? How come I've never heard of this? There's a D&D &D channel in the, uh... In the Discord server, and Ginger Cake is the one that's in charge of becoming the eventual DM for the campaign. But, uh, she just hasn't had the time to put it together recently. <laughs> right, Springtron again. Springtron is so scary. Seriously, what started as a single D&D character became a whole freaking book. That's awesome, though. That's awesome. You have a whole universe built in itself. Ugh. <sighs> Alright. Alright. So does it only let you have four... Hold on. Does it only let you have four people in an arena? There is a campaign. I need this in my life. We haven't actually started it yet, Alexander, but I would let Ginger Cake know that you're interested, and she could probably add you to the list and uh, incorporate you on the campaign that will eventually get going. Hopefully, eventually get going. Um, but as far as, like, online... I have a question, so... As far as these online friend arenas go, is it better to make this, what we have right here, this arena where it's 1v1 battles and we have to watch the battle and blah blah blah? Or is it better to have like the party, party match, where multiple well, multiple things can be going on at once? What, what's what's the general preference for that? Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, that's what it is, Magic Vasco. You can open a larger lobby. Oh, okay. I might do that then. Because it seems like we have more than four people that want to play. I've heard of D&D, but I don't know anything about it. Rachel, it's a pretty cool thing. Pretty cool game. I don't have too much experience with it, but every time I play it, it's been really fun. And Malivi over here being really scary with this mechanic of play. I don't even know what to say about this. Oh my gosh. Party can have up to ten players, but only one round fights. I mean, I'm okay with that, but can I change it to where the only game mode is, like, just actual fights? Because I don't want to do the volleyball or the basketball thing. If I can change it to just fights like this, then that would be totally fine. In my opinion. D&D is not just one thing, you can make up any story you want. Yeah, it's super cool. It's very varied to, like, open structure. You make basically just make it whatever you want. I think that's the coolest part about D&D. There's not, like, a certain structure you have to follow or anything. Oof. Man, this mechanic is so scary! Oh my god! Yes, you can change all the rules. Okay, so we might do that then. We'll make the, the party count bigger. And we'll, we'll change over to the party mode, I think. Or the party lobby. In Arena, it's only 1v1, I think. I think that's what it is, Evie. I'm still, like, I've never actually set one of these up before, so I'm learning. <laughs> All right. Wow. I mean, Mechanic is so cute. She's the diva of this game, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, in any case, we need to close the lobby so we can make the uh, the uh, player account larger. So let's do that. Let's do create lobby. Max four players per lobby. Ah. Max ten consoles per lobby. Okay. So if I go to party. In. Okay. Let's, let's just see. So if I go to rules. Ah! Okay. You do team fight. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Thanks on the V volleyball thing. Items. Uh. 
Streak bonuses? I don't know if that's something I should turn on or not. Uh, solo fights and team fights would be cool. Um, also do... No, actually, that's fine. But what are, what are streak bonuses? Also, let me make it... The competitive stages is mausoleum. Okay, so let's turn all these off real quick. So, mausoleum. Mausoleum. Uh, DNA lab. And scrapyard. Followed by temple grounds and sparring ring. With... Did Buster Beach is another one? And Via Dolce. There you go. Um, versus Headlock is fine. Oh, I'll enable that too. I was thinking the same thing. Um, it reduces your health if you're winning in exchange for more points. No, thanks. Good. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and open up this arena. This is going to be so much better, I think. Uh, first to 20. What the heck is that? First to 99, so we can keep this going for a while. There we go. There we go. Alright, it's just gonna match me up with whoever's ready. Cool! Much better! You get HP happy handicaps if you win a lot. I think that's so lame. I like just the standard fights more. Morks, you are using sideways Joy-Con to play this game? I didn't even know that was an option. Or is that or is that motion control? Okay, I'm coming, Alex. Sounds good, Evie. It's gonna be fun. Got a lot of people in this lobby. Call me whatever you like, but I hate D.Va. She's just so obnoxious. <sighs> I think she's cute. I think she's cute. I don't like playing her at all, though. She is so not fun <laughs> to play. But I think as a character, she's actually kind of cute. Got Ninjara up in here. Ninjara main. Okay, okay. I need food. Send pizza, please. Please. Send me pizza, too. I'm hungry. Oh boy, Alexander knows what he's doing here. Oh my god! I also haven't fought a Ninjara in quite some time, it feels like. One of those characters that I feel like nobody plays as their main, anyway. <laughs> my Switch died rip! Ooh, that well-timed grab! I don't want to use my special if I don't have to. Ow! Oh, I tried to punch through that! Oof! Oh, how did that not hit? I'm so upset. Okay, fine. Whoa! He's won! It feels like he's won. I don't think he's actually won. There we go. That's all we needed. That all we needed. Dog is in the lobby. Yee! Yee! I, uh, <laughs> beat Morks. <laughs> Rip Morks' switch. Big F. Alright. <sighs> GG's Alexander. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Oh man, we're gonna be here a while, huh? Fighting the same, same matchups? Actually, I don't know. Hey, I want this color. Uh, making my way downtown, springy arms, ribbon hair, blowing in the wind. Oh boy, got dog weasel Maliv, well as oh my God, name shaking so much. GM Tom and Evie got a stacked lobby up in here. Oh man, I've had I'm having so much fun playing this game today. This is seriously really really cool. <laughs> All right. So uh, it looks like DM Tom wins the first round over here, and Maliv takes another win too. So we all are kind of just waiting to be ma to be matched up again, I guess. See how this goes. Benjo, welcome to the lobby. Welcome to the lobby, my friend. Alright. Got like a full lobby. I honestly wasn't expecting anywhere near this amount of people to be joining in today, so thank you all. This is so fun. 
Uh, all right, me and Dog Weasel versus Spenjo and Eevee. I think that's what it was. Let's see how this goes. I haven't fought a team battle in so long. All right, let's do this. Lola Pop, Lola Pop. Lola is so cute. Is there a way to, like, change tar- There it is. There's a way to change targets. Oof! Somebody shut down Eevee! He's so fast! Ow. I feel like throws in this mode are so valuable because not only does it throw your opponent, but it throws your opponent's teammate, too. Oof! Someone who arts draw Kirby with spring arms. Someone draw me with spring arms. I want to be an arms fighter. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting curse smashed right now. There we go. Ooh. Wait, one opponent left. Oh god. It's just Eevee. It's just Eevee. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. What's going on? <laughs> he still takes the win though. I think. I don't know. Does this just turn into a 1v1? Yeah, it does. Roses are red, violets are blue. I got weird arms, and soon you will too! <laughs> That's the song my mom's gonna sing when she pulls up to my house with spring arms. <laughs> I'm bad, sorry teammates. Oof! Alright. Who's gonna take the win? You know, honestly, I kinda saw that coming though, because he had such a lead. Where shall I send these beautiful cursed images? Uh, Magic Vasco, if you have a Twitter, send them over to me on Twitter. Or if you decide to make a Discord, we have a Discord channel dedicated to people's artwork that you can use as well. Uh, ooh, excuse me. -na -na -na. All right, who am I fighting? Who am I fighting? I'm ready for anything. Ooh, versus Hemlock, okay, okay. No Twitter, I don't do social media. Well, what do you have then, Magic Vasco? That's the that's the real question then. I have an Insta though. I have an Instagram if you want to send me send it to me there too. Feel free to do that, Magic Vasco. Oh, this is scary. Hemlock's head is on Lollipop's body of all things. Oh, it's Headlock. Headlock. My bad. I've been calling him Hemlock this whole time. Where on Discord can you put art anime? Um, we In our Discord server, there's a channel on there called Art. You can post it there. You can post all of your artwork there if you want to. TV puts his artwork there. We have a community member named Emery who makes some really good artwork. There's some really talented people in our community. Oh my god, I just got smacked. Did I tag you? You can. Um, or you could just uh, send it to me in a direct message. Up to you. Oof. Whoa. I spam my character designs there. And we love it, Mika. There we go. Oh, man. Is it... Like, I feel like it's so hard to lose uh, versus Hemlock round. It feels so easy. <laughs> Here, let me do it quick. Sounds good, Magic Vasco. Sounds good. Alright, just in time too. Everyone else just finished their matches. And Maleve out here with 10 coins already. Why the hell can Riven go get out of a super? Because she's fast. That's why. Alright, me versus Maleve. I'm scared already. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. Maleve is on like a... What? Maleve is undefeated, I think. The right setup against Headlock makes it easier. That's true. All right. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm the... Oh, what is Mechanica's quirk? I can't remember. Oh, I hate that thing. I feel like it's so hard to dodge. Yeah, she's waiting for me. She's waiting for me when I drop down from my jumps. Oh, that grab from like Timbuktu! Had to go for the read there. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, that's a, okay. That was a nice combo. Oh, 
Oh, why did I do that? I'm getting punished so easily right now. <laughs> okay. Jeez! Oh! You were just ready! At all times! Oh, there I go. I shall work on the spring arm curvy first. Do it! I'm excited to see how that turns out. Big block! Big block! Aw, oh, jeez! <laughs> Believe you are scary! You were just so patient too, like you're just sitting there waiting for me to throw something at you and then you just counter it like it's nothing. <laughs> why am I so bad? Also, why can every character ever get out of a super? Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Wait, are you pl Oh, there you are. I was like, are you playing in our one? Posted some art? I'll go check it out here in a little bit anime. I'll go check it out in a little bit. You held up pretty well. I feel like I could have done better, honestly. I feel like I was really aggressive that round because I was more of in a panic going against you. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, Mika says, My Aladdin hype inspired a desert princess character to be one of the characters betrothed in my story. Awesome. Hello, Alec. Hello again, Eevee. Long time no see, huh? Oh my goodness! Whoa! Need to angle my punches a little bit better. That'd be great. Also, I noticed you're playing Min Min? What's this all about? Is it bad I traded uh, arms for Smash Brothers Ultimate at a GameStop and paid half price for it? I mean... Yes and no. I mean, I feel like for all things considered, Smash Brothers is probably a better value. But it's unfortunate that you had to trade it in to get it anyway, because I feel like ARMS still has some pretty good qualities about it that make it worth to own anyways. Worthy owning anyways. Is that, is that the right way to say that? Worth owning. There you go. That's a better way. Also, welcome to the stream, Powerful. How are you doing? We're all just hanging out and playing some friendly matches here in ARMS. We were playing ranked earlier, but now we're just doing some friendly lobbies. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my goodness! Okay. All right, Evie. I don't want to do this. Don't make me hurt you. Oh my god, that actually landed. <laughs> my goodness. I got a grab, got hit, then got grabbed again with his doubles. Ah. Oh. Oh, jeez. I can't believe how quick Apex died. I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's dead yet. You <laughs> already did. Our Root Snail and Pasta Squid here. I believe Root Snail was here. And so was Pasta. I don't know if they're still here, though. All right, Alexander. Me and you. Me and you. Let's do this. Let's do this! All right. All right. <sighs> Ooh, all right, nice punch. That travel time was so long, what the heck? Ooh, all right. How are these punches not hitting you? Oh my gosh. What do I do against Ninjara? Oh. oh, he's gonna throw it out. He's gonna throw it out. Flag is a magical thing. Is that, is that what's going on right now? I feel like my punches are connecting, but he's not hitting them. Oh my god! Oh, I tried my best to dodge that. Oh, I get one jump forward! This game, this match in particular feels weird. You're fighting lag more than Ninjara right now, Alec. 
<laughs> Is that what's going on? I don't know what to look for whenever, um... I don't know what to look for as far as arm lag looks. Oh my god, that traveled so far. Powerful says it's bizarre that Minecraft got popular again, and if Steve gets in Smash, I hope it means another Microsoft character can join Smash. You want to know something? Out of all the Microsoft characters, this might come as a surprise to you. I would love to see Banjo-Kazooie <laughs> make it into Smash. You are now on my living room TV. Say hi. Hello. Morks's living room. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, that wasn't lag. That was just schmooths on both of our parts. I don't know. I don't know. I felt like my punches were landing, but then they weren't hitting you. So I don't... It felt like lag, but at the same time, I don't know what lag looks like in this game. So it's hard for me to say. But, uh... Believe over here says that it probably was. Rachel says, oh yeah. Uh, one, that's not surprising. And two, that's not happening. Don't... You rain on my parade, Rachel. Alright? If at any point in history it's ever been likely for Banjo-Kazooie to make it into Smash, it's now. Now is the best and most optimal time for that to happen. We all must say hi to Morxos TV. Hello, Morxos TV! We are all saying hello to your living room. I'm just thinking about how they would model Steve. I feel like it would look awkward, no matter how you spin it. Just because of how blocky and flat he is. Well, if I'm not in Smash, Banjo won't be either. Hey, listen, all right? No one's counting you out just yet. Maybe there's gonna be like a, an Echo Fighter Pass that has a bunch of Echo Fighters in it instead of original characters like this Fighter Pass has. Well, who knows? I'm down for anything in Smash. Banjo or Steve would be cool. Yeah, Banjo's been my dream for, oh God, for so long. And I would just really love to see that finally come to fruition. All those daydreaming and wishful thinking. Just finally paying off one day. Banjo in Smash is very possible. Phil Spencer is a huge Nintendo fan, and he said it was possible even in Smash 4. Oh, we can only hope. We can only hope. Mr. Tom, Game Master Tom. Do you prefer Game Master or do you prefer Tom? But yeah, that would be super cool. See Banjo finally get the recognition they deserve. Name for arms. Oh my god. I was really hoping for like a Spring Man slash Ribbon Girl fighter Smash, but sadly that didn't end up happening. Ooh, I just got decimated! I got a special too! There it is, there it is! They got Game & Watch to fit, they could do it with Steve, I guess. That's a good point. Maybe that's just my mind, like, mentally, un subconsciously resisting the idea of anything Microsoft being included in Smash other than banjo Kazooie. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. E3 is not that far away now. It's like, what? Less than a month at this point? Like, two or three weeks? I'm so excited. I'm gonna finally be on the floor again, getting to try all these super cool games. Hopefully they're gonna have Animal Crossing there. I would love to play that. Um, whatever new character they announce for Smash is probably gonna be there too. I would love to play that. Oh, I'm so It's gonna be so fun. I love going every year. Alec for Smash? Heck yeah! <laughs> that would be so fun. <gasps> I'm getting uh, Dauntless just to see how it is. Powerful, what is that? I've heard of that game, but I've never actually seen it. Game Master Tom says ARMS was probably just a prototype during Smash pre-production. Ah, I mean, you raise a good point. Because from what I remember, um, Smash Brothers Ultimate's development started pretty much right after Smash 4's uh, final Three. DLC. So it's very possible that ARMS wasn't even in, like, a playable state yet. But who knows? Who really knows? Octopengi, welcome back from your shower. Don't you know you're supposed to watch while you're in the shower like everyone else, like all the cool kids? <laughs> but thanks for tuning in, Octopengi. I appreciate you. Oh my god, these grabs are so annoying! I'm such a troll! Oh my god, it doesn't stop! Okay, I'm gonna stop. That is so annoying. Ah! Okay, well, if Alexander starts grabbing me, then... I just got curse splatted by that ult. That special. Oh my god! 
I'm getting decimated right now. Actually pooped on. Oh. Just give me my ult! Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I just got it too. Man. Alright, well good luck with that, dog. Alexander says I just want the knight or a hornet. Uh, they would be perfect and so cool. I'm assuming that that's uh, a Hollow Knight reference. Vanilla says, IDK, I mean, Game & Watch is like 2D, so it's kind of easier to digest than some weird 3D block, man. I feel like there's some credence to that. Um, although, in my opinion, based on like uh, the kind of ideas that I've had, I feel like I always underestimate the, the team at Sora Limited and how well they're able to execute weird characters like that in Smash Brothers, because... Man, they did a really good job at, like, you would think that Game & Watch would be something that wouldn't fit, but man, they got it to work somehow. So, I don't know. You spam grab, I spam grab, that's how the world works. I think you mean that that's how, uh, doubles works. Because when you grab someone in doubles, it does, like, it does damage to both parties. Or it does damage to both of the opponents. I feel is weird. All right, all right. I'm gonna try for a couple of different mix-ups as far as how many jumps I use. Make it a little bit le a little bit harder to read. Sakurai's a genius. You'd do wrong to underestimate him. I know. I know. I feel like any character that they're given, they're probably gonna do well with it. It's just hard for me to comprehend sometimes. Like, oh, Steve, that would look so awkward in Smash Brothers. But at the same time, they've been doing this for like pretty much my entire life. And pretty much every character that they add to the game works flawlessly within the realm of the game, so... Maybe I am underestimating them. I should stop that. <laughs> if Alec was in Smash, Alec would still play Lucina despite himself being playable. I would. I would. What sort of abilities would I have that aren't possible on other characters? What would be the selling point there? Is what my question would be. Is there any way to cancel a super? I don't think so after you've used it. Alexander. I don't believe there is. Are we just gonna sit here and play footsies the whole time? Huh? Are we gonna time this out? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Doc. <laughs> Alec would be a Lucina palette swap. Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! Maleev's got the idea. You and me were on the same wavelength, alright? I see you. I see you. We see eye to eye on this. <laughs> Oh, man. Powerful says Dauntless, apparently, is made by Epic Games and is like Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is another game series I have actually never played. Eevee and Maleev on a team. I am dead. <laughs> I know, that's a scary thought. That is a scary thought. Let's see. I just got a package. Once activated, you cannot cancel Rush. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I feel like it'd be... I feel like it'd be too overpowered if you were able to do that, because then you could do certain, like, like fake-outs with it, you know? Because then someone would start to throw up their shield, and then you could cancel it, and then once they throw up their shield, they're really prone to being grabbed. So, I feel like it's a... I feel like it's probably for the best that you can't. Alright, so, while these matches are going on, and I'm waiting for the match to finish, I want you guys to check this out. Recently, Casetify is a website that does, um, like, designs for phone cases and stuff like that. Did a collaboration with Pokemon, and there was a big demand for it. They sold out, like, two days after they opened up their listings, and I managed to get a couple of the, a couple of the things that they had for sale. And I just bought this really awesome phone case. Check that out. Got a whole bunch of Pokemon printed on it, and apparently it's, like, leather. So, I'm really excited. I also got this wireless charger too that has Pikachu printed on it. Really cute and yellow. It has it has Pikachu on it. Anyway. Um <laughs> I've been waiting for this package all day and it finally came. So, oh Jesus, me versus believe. This is not gonna go well at all. <sighs> I like wood stream while in game, causing all types of effects, such as summoning Lucina, causing the game to lag, randomly SDing, destroying the opponent's stocks. I feel like that last one's gonna be the most likely though. 
I like the windows an inch tall. What window? What window are we talking about? Oh my god, the leaves waiting for me to do something so that they could punish me. I'm done. Kirby in arms is, uh, interesting. I'm excited to see it. Umbra Dusk, welcome to the stream. Hashtag Yellow Kazoo right- Oh my god, Yellow Kazoo! Yellow Kazoo is here! Oh, that's so awesome! Umbra Dusk, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. We're just hanging out and playing some arms. Having some fun in these friendly lobbies. Oh, that grab went through, thank goodness. But I hope you're having a good Thursday afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. Iceberg Mike, welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. We're just hanging out and playing some arms. The Chivalrous Zek Reader, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Yee as well, how are you doing, my friend? The game window, I couldn't make out what the cases were. Oh, okay, I'll show you at the end of the stream then when the camera's bigger. Hashtag yellow kazoo coming through. Kazoo crew coming through. Welcome to the stream, guys. Fiery F. Yo Chu Fall Day Dede. Did I pronounce that right? I feel like that's totally wrong. Oh my god, that actually hits. That actually hits. BX Thorn, welcome to the stream. Brian's Philosophy, how are you doing? Guys, welcome to the stream. How are we all doing today on this fine Thursday afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you? Oh my god! <laughs> that just won you the game, didn't it? I feel like that totally just won you the game. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. That was so close. Ah, oh, I, I did so well for the majority of the round. Ah, oh, nope, you pronounced that as far off as I've ever heard of it. Well, great. I'm glad I was so terrible. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to correct me then. How do you actually pronounce that? Because I want to do you justice. <laughs> Yellow Kazoo, how are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Arms, I know! I know! Man, I decided to start streaming this game today on a whim and thinking like nobody was gonna come because I feel like this is a game that most people have forgotten about at this point. But here we are. I mean, you guys seem to really be enjoying it, so I'm super happy because this is a game that I feel like didn't get the amount of recognition it deserved when it came out. And I'm so happy to see that people are still enjoying it, you know, to this day. How old is this game now? It makes it like two years old already? Oh man. But I really love it. I really love it. Arms is bay. Heck yeah. Yellow Kazoo's got the refined taste. You see, we should all be more like Yellow Kazoo. <laughs> exactly. It's so underrated. I know. Ah, man. But apparently we've got, um, we've got a couple of current day arms players that still play competitively. Planet Scrapstar being one of them. Um, and they're teaching me a thing or two about the game. So I'm, I'm really, really appreciate that. Uh, Alec, what state do you live in, Planet? I live in Texas. Matthew says, if anyone is interested, there's a tourney going on at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Go to Alex's Discord. The link should be in Looking to Play. Matthew, welcome to the stream. Good luck to you on that tourney. I'm assuming you're uh, participating in that. So, good luck to you, my friend. I've seen it on the Nintendo Store, but it's kind of pricey, so I wasn't sure about it. Here's the thing, BX Thorn. I mean, I really love this game, but I feel like if you're going to pay full price for it, I would, if it were me... I would probably pass, but if you can manage to get this game for like anything less than $30 or anything $30 or less, I feel like it's a deal. I do do coaching sessions though, so should you ever be interested, I am uh, participating. Oh snap! Oh snap! Arms, uh, yes Mike, we're playing arms. I thought the, I thought I was this Friday, with this Friday, no it's uh, Thursday. This week has flown by though. There might be a local near you, or Smash and Splash. Smash and Splash has arms? I didn't know that. Level 6, a bit tough. I didn't even realize that level just now until you said it. Are we getting rated twice in a row? Iceberg Mike is here. Iceberg Mike is a really cool dude. I don't think he's rating though. Oh, it is- it's on Friday. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what you're saying. My bad. I guess I misunderstood. Oh my god, I just got yeeted. Oh, I forgot about the stamp one. <laughs> there are so many things about this game that I just forgot, but it's all coming back to me now. Ah! Like how awesome Lollipop is as a character, how much I love Ribbon Girl, like fighting as her. So fun. Bro Jakin, welcome to the stream. Kazoo crew coming through. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. I'm so happy to see you guys enjoying the ARMS gameplay. The game is so fun. Oof. Does this thing ever die? <laughs> it's only... Like, 
the amount of health that it has, I feel like it should have been dead by now, but I guess it is level 6 and all. Cool, I'll have to get it from GameStop. If you get it, feel free to let me know how you enjoy it. I feel like this is one of those games that people write off so quickly, but once you actually get around to playing it and sitting down and trying it for the first time, it's one of those things that, like, you'll probably find something you enjoy about it. For me, it's mostly the characters. Like, they're all so varied and interesting, and a lot of their designs are just really, really cool. So, that's like the biggest selling point for me, is just how cool the characters are. Oh my god, he's low! Jesus Christ, he lived with a sliver of health. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Morxo says, what are you streaming tomorrow if you are? Morx, we are streaming tomorrow um, some Jackbox games. We're going to be doing Quiplash and Drawful. So that's what we're going to be playing tomorrow. I was going to say that later, but now that you ask. Um, thanks for the love and shout out. Not a problem. Thank you, be thank you for being awesome. I came in with Kazoo, friend of the show, as well as Alec. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Mike is a cool dude. Umber Dust says, today I beat Mario Odyssey and I'm trying to unlock the darker side of the moon. Good luck with that. Those moon levels are actually really, really hard. Oh, dang, I love Quiplash. Quiplash is so fun, Miko. Oh my god, it's gonna be great. <laughs> we haven't played Jackbox games in a while, so I'm excited to do that tomorrow. I will most likely be here for the stream tomorrow. Oh, yes! We're getting some Octopengi in our games tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited about it. We're gonna be doing that in Dropple. Maybe some TKO if I feel like it, but we'll see. I won't be here because movie- Oh, you're gonna be watching Aladdin, right? I think my mom and sister are going to be going tomorrow, but I, they usually go for like the matinee showing, so like in the morning. That's because they're monsters. How much moves do you need to unlock it? Honestly, I don't remember. I really don't remember. It's been so long since I've beaten that game. Yes, Drawful? Yes, we're going to be doing Drawful tomorrow, Morxo. It's so hard me getting used to calling you Morxo instead of Morx. I'm going to try my best, though. Man, Tom! Tom's out here being so scary! Well, that was the wrong, wrong direction. I read that wrong. Oof. All right, mister. All right, mister. 280. All right, all right. 250. Whoa! <laughs> Whenever you charge up Ribbon Girl's punches, she sounds like Goku turning into a Super Saiyan. <laughs> Hmm, I've never played a Jackbox game. Evie, you've never played Jackbox games before? Oh, please, for the love of all that is good in the world, I would love to see you tune in tomorrow. One of the games actually surrounds about being good at drawing. So I think you'd be really good at it. Better than I am, at least. Oh, please! <laughs> please! I think that's enough. I think that's enough to win. Can we just time this out, maybe? Oh my god! <laughs> If at least one of those punches went through, I feel like I still would have KO'd you, but oh well. That was so close! <laughs> Yellow Kazoo says, I need to stream arms again, OMG. You do! You do. Oh man, it's so fun. It's so fun. Um, nope, what are they? Eevee, it's like a... The Jackbox games, there's a wide variety. It's a collection of different types of games, but you can play them all from your phone. Or your computer, or your tablet, or whatever device you have that connects to the internet. Um, GG's BX Thorn. Do you want me to call you Tom or BX Thorn? I always have a problem with discerning which name to call someone when their YouTube and Nintendo Switch name is different. Do you have a preference for that? Um. <laughs> oh boy. Would you join if you were free? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I would absolutely join if I was free. Yellow Kazoo. Um, shoot me a message on Discord if you're ever, like... If you ever want to get games in with me, shoot me a message on Discord and I can tell you whenever I'm available. My schedule during the week is a little random. It can be a little unpredictable, but on Thursdays and Fridays, I stream at 5 p.m. Central Time. Every single week. Okay, what types of games? Ah, jeez, that's like it's such a hard question to answer. It's such a hard question to answer. I don't know. I mean, Drawful, you basically, it's, it's basically Pictionary. It gives you something to draw. You draw it, and then you get points if people guess it. Quiplash is very hard to describe. It. You'll just have to be there, I guess, because Quiplash and Drawful are actually really, really fun. Probably two of the best uh, Jackbox games, in my opinion. All right, Evie, let's do this thing. Sorry, Alec, but I'm going to head out and nominate Evie as Honorary Vanilla for the rest of the stream. Heck yeah. 
<laughs> Have a good night, Vanilla Gepla. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's throwing out all these punches. Oh! <laughs> Iceberg Mark says... Oh, Iceberg Mike says, arm seems like it's cool. I avoided it, but if it's really popping, I might be rolling. Heck yeah. It is a really fun game. It is a really fun game. I've said this multiple times during today's stream, but I feel like it got gypped as far as like, general growth of the community for the game. And a big reason for that, I think, is just the timing, because like a month or so after the game first and released back in 2017, Splatoon 2 came out. So I feel like most people for the summer of 2017 were just waiting for Splatoon to come out instead of actually sitting down and giving arms a try. But I've had this game since day one, and I've loved it ever since. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Ooh! Oh, GG, ZB. GG, ZB. Alexander says, wait, is it free? Then I will totally join in. Yes, Jackbox games, they're all free. You can play them for free from the internet browser. Or, uh, you know, or however you access the website, I guess. But you can play them from a phone, you can play it from your tablet, your computer, whatever. I think it should have come out at launch. Pokémon and Smash made people look over it. That is true. I totally forgot about Pokémon Tournament as well. Yeah, um, but I feel like it was mostly a timing thing. Um, had it come out earlier or after all the big releases for 2017, I feel like it would have done a lot better. Because this game, like, the characters are amazing. The fighting is really, really satisfying. The levels and all the environments are bright and colorful and interesting. So, there's not really anything that I feel like would hold it back from being a successful fighting game other than all the stuff that surrounded it. So it's kind of unfortunate. But um, I'm glad that people are still carrying on the torch and giving it, giving it the love and attention it deserves, I think. Uh, my mom said, you look like you work at Best Buy. <laughs> well, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but thank you, Morxo's mom, I guess. <laughs> I played so much Pokémon on Wii U, I didn't feel it was worth to buy it on Switch. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have bought it again on Switch had I not been sent it. Um, Nintendo sent me a copy. Thanks to them, by the way, for sending me that copy of uh, Pokémon. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was very samey as far as, you know, content that was available. But I do think it was pretty cool for them to add extra content or extra Pokémon as a DLC. Being like Age of Slash and Blastoise, I think, was another one. So I think that was cool as well. I dislike the minimal combos, but that's not that's just not what this game is for. I, I agree. Yes. One of the only gripes I had with this game back when it first came out was the lack of depth. And I don't want to say that it doesn't have any, because at the at, at my core, you know, I'm still a very much a casual player in this game. But I feel like, just based on my understanding, it's not super in-depth, and I don't think it has to be. But that was my only gripe if I ever had to pick one for this game. Other than that, it's a like a really solid fighting game. And the thing is, is like there's combos, but like they're very they're more like follow-ups, I guess. I wouldn't call them combos. Based on what I've seen. Ah! I keep saying things and feeling bad because I don't think I'm like the best opinion resource for this kind of knowledge on this game. I'm just kind of speaking from my own understanding. I hope no one takes my word as, like, gospel or anything. Ah, no! Oh, jeez. It means you look like a nerd. Wow. Alec, like all your dodging is giving me a headache. That's the thing about Ribbon Girl is that she's speedy, so you gotta take advantage of the speed. Best combo is charge wind attack into rush. Don't at me. <laughs> I hit you once, OMG. OMG, indeed. OMG, how much we're enjoying this game more like it. Haha, <laughs> but it's... Um, you like puns? Well, I dug up some dirt on the guy that invented the shuffle. <laughs> I'm taking your word as gospel, JK lol. No! Iceberg Mike, please don't expose me like this! <laughs> uh, yeah, this game is more dependent on good reads and neutral play. Oh, man. Some of my worst enemies in Smash Brothers. <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel like I'm a lot better at playing the neutral in this game than I am in Smash. I feel like when I play Smash, I am just so freaking aggressive that it's sickening. I am bad with a capital Q. Oh man, that's really bad then. 
Capital Q. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm in a weird mood today. I'm in a weird mood today, but I'm enjoying it. Every second of it. Raise the sun. Raise the sun. Um, the strongest combos are flinch, stun, arm, follow up with wind, and then rush. Are those like specific arms? Eevee says, I'm really excited to try Jackbox. Heck yes, Eevee. Oh man, it's going to be so fun. Everyone that's watching right now, feel free to join in our uh, Jackbox game stream tomorrow. We're going to be playing for like another two, and a, two, two and a half hours tomorrow of just straight Jackbox games. Whiplash. We're going to be doing some Drawful. Um, TKO if we feel like it, and the game's free. So, by all means, everyone is welcome. <laughs> I like your hair, Alec. <laughs> it's all over the place, really. It's all, it's like one of those things that's just constant bedhead. But thank you, Yellow Kazoo, I appreciate it. <laughs> My gosh! What is Jackbox on one culture? How do you guys not know what Jackbox games are? I guess it's more of like a cult game than anything else, you know? It's got a very cult following. But they're really fun. Magic Vasco, I feel like if I was to try to explain it to you, it wouldn't do it justice, so I would just say tune in tomorrow. Play with us then. Jackbox is for the Switch, thinking emoji? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I have like, I have like two or three of the collections for, for Switch. Oh my god, that grab went through. Maybe we should turn off doubles or something. Oh, the, 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 with the grab! I've heard of it, but never played any of them. Oh, they're so fun. They're so fun. It's one of the quintessent... I feel like it's a quintessential party game. If you're going to host a party full of, like, games of any sort of capacity, I feel like Jackbox games needs to be a part of that. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. I like you going to join the tourney. It's tomorrow, and the time is insert appropriate time zone here. Well, you guys posted it on the Discord, right? I'll have to check and see if that works with my schedule. Um, I got left out of the team battle. Oh no, Alexander just had to wait. <laughs> oh, big sad. We have an uneven amount of, team of people here. All right, let me go ahead and change the rules real quick. Actually, I can't do that. Never mind. Ah, oh, man. We'll just leave it as it is, I guess, for now. I like try air dashing and grabbing at the same time, and then while the grab is out, press jump more. Wait, you can press jump while you're throwing out a grab? I didn't know that. Alec, like, are you going to see the curb art? I need everyone's eyes to bleed on stream. <laughs> Where did you post it? Uh, Magic Basket. Cards Against Humanity is my party game of choice. Lol, that's a pretty good one, too. That's a pretty good one, too. Whoa. Level 5? I feel like we can take this. We can take this. It'd be hilarious if when one of your teammates falls and doubles, you had to drag their lifeless body around. <laughs> that would be so morbid and scary. But funny. <laughs> no one is mentioning that Jackbox's icon is a bald dude peeping from a box. Hey listen, I'm trying to sell people on playing Jackbox with me, Morgzo, and you're not doing it any favors by making it sound weird. DM on Insta. Jackbox ain't free. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You can buy the packs on Switch for like 30 bucks or something. But to play, you can do it from your web browser or like anything that has access to the internet completely free. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what Yellow Kazoo says. You can join the games for free, but someone has to own it. And thankfully for all of you guys, I already own it for you. So you don't have to do anything, but just join in. Oh god! Okay, alright, alright. I completely whiffed that! I am sad! Again. You know what's funny is that at the very beginning of this match, I was like, oh, level 5, we got this. Because we got so well, we got so close to beating the level 6 one from earlier, and here we are getting dunked on. <laughs> oh man. You only need one person to buy it, Alec in this case, yes. Yes indeed. It's really fun though, I'm excited to do that tomorrow. We're gonna be we're gonna be playing Jackbox, and then immediately after Jackbox is over, we're gonna be transitioning over into anime night, and it's gonna be so fun. Got dunked on, dude. We just got destroyed. That was so disrespectful. Alright. Dog, weasel. 
Let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh, I want to play. Heck yeah, you're totally welcome. Everyone is welcome. We're going to be starting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Time. Is it on Switch? You can buy the game on Switch, but to join the game, all you need is like a phone or a tablet or a computer or anything that uh, has access to the internet. Have a great rest of the stream. Thank you so much, Yellow Kazoo. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for the raid. You are super cool. <laughs> See you later. See you later, too, as well. Oh, God! All right, I'm going to try not to die here. I like we need a movie night watching Big Hero 6. If I can find a good place to watch it, then yes. That game is... Or, sorry. I'm so... I'll be tied up and talking about games, but that movie is really good. Oh my goodness gracious! All right, when does stream end? Um, probably. I don't know. Actually, I didn't think about that. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, I'm thinking about switching over to just regular ranked matches after a couple more games. And then we'll end the stream after playing a couple of those. Oh my god! Never. The stream never ends. Alec never gets sleep. And eventually dies live on camera. <laughs> oh my god! What's this? Okay. Cobra Kid? Kid Cobra? Between Kid Cobra and Mechanica... I feel like those two have always been my weakness in this game. And Springtron. Just those three characters are like so, <laughs> so hard to play against for me. I don't know how to play. All right. We'll probably do um, two more friendly matches and then I'm going to go back into ranked. See if we can find anyone there. Uh, Magic Vasco says, Alec, opinion on Sonic movie, especially those teeth. It is trash. Um, no, but it seems fine, I guess. This, it's just really the design that kind of, um, that kind of hooked me, really. Um, if they are as committed to changing the design in favor of what fans want as much as they say they are, then I feel like the movie's gonna come out decent at best. Because even then, like, if you ignore the awful design that Sonic has in that trailer, the movie itself looks very subpar. I don't know, like, I didn't get a good grasp of what the story was even about or anything, so, I don't know. I mean, the, the, I feel like the best we can hope for is just decent. Detective Pikachu, however, I actually have a video coming out on Sunday uh, going into all of my thoughts on Detective Pikachu as a movie, and I just finished recording it yesterday. I just gotta edit it together, so it's coming out on Sunday. Look forward to that. Drop Gangster's Paradise too. That was just a bit, like that didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't even know like what that's supposed to be implying. Detective Pikachu. Heck yeah, Eevee. You guys have seen it, right? Malieve is out here playing Ribbon Girl just to disrespect me. Okay. Well. We both just use that. <laughs> Eevee approved. Mmm, Detective Pikachu. Best movie. So good. It's so good. I'm mad they made me hate Coolio. I mean, whenever I first saw that trailer, I was like, man, Coolio probably hates this. But at the same time, I thought to myself, well, he's probably getting that fat paycheck anyway, so I don't think he really cares. <laughs> but yeah, that song is like forever ruined for me, I think, just because of that trailer and how bad it was. I need to see Detective Pikachu. Iceberg Mike, it's gonna be great. I think you're really gonna love it. If you're any sort of semblance of a fan of Pokemon, I think you're gonna really love it. Now, like, look at Vasco's Insta DMs and show the stream. Um, I don't know, did you send it to me on that Instagram.com? Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, so Magic Vasco here drew Kirby um, as an ARMS character. And that's what it looks like. So enjoy that cursed imagery right there for just a hot second. <laughs> that's actually kind of cute. I don't know. You said it's cursed, but I feel like that's a little bit more adorable than I was anticipating. <laughs> Super cute. Anyway, that's a really nice drawing. Uh, Gibran says, I still have to watch Detective, or I have to watch Pikachu, I Choose You, and Detective Pikachu. Nice! Okay, so you're gonna go see Pikachu I Choose You 
Oh my god, why, why is my memory escaping me right now? Hold on. Oh, okay, so that's the... That's the movie that I... Okay. I, I, I feel like I remember it as a different title. Pokemon the movie, I choose you. Okay. So it's Pokemon the movie, I choose you. Maybe that's why I didn't recognize it, because you said Pikachu, I choose you. But yeah, I've seen that movie, and it was really good. Hey, Alec, did you do Pokemon Pass? I did. I have a shiny Eevee waiting for me to redeem. Uh, I did the Target event that uh, they were hosting for Detect Detective Pikachu, like, a couple weeks ago. And all you had to do was take your app over to the store, and they had, like, a little QR code you could scan in for the code. So I have a shiny Eevee waiting to add to my Let's Go collection. Bro, if I was around on YouTube back then, I'd have streamed all the Pokemon games, lol. I just don't like Gen 7. Pokemon is amazing, though. Yeah, Gen 7 was okay. I mean, it definitely had its strengths, but it also definitely had its weaknesses. I'm hoping that Pokemon Sword and Shield recaptures the general public's attention, kind of like Detective Pikachu has. Because, for whatever reason, whether it be I'm a fanboy or whether it be... Like, for a variety of reasons. I just really like people, seeing people enjoy Pokemon. And Nintendo games, but Pokemon in particular is just something that I hold so dear to my heart. And I just really love it. Love seeing people love it, you know? Doesn't Pikachu talk in that juice? I don't know if that would be considered spoilers, but, um, yeah, there's like this really weird scene that made the entire theater laugh whenever I went to go watch it. And it was great. <laughs> The leaves out here making me want to quit my arms career early with these EMP strats. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ash's Pikachu does not speak. That is not canon. Yeah, I don't know where that movie fits canonically. I don't even think it's part of the Pokemon universe. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut down this arena. And we're going to go ahead and queue into some regular ranked, uh, ranked games. So... Wait, how do I do that? Okay, well, I guess we'll wait until after this one. Ugh, I'm just a little bored of arms. I'm just gonna chill. Sure thing, Alexander. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thanks for playing with us anyway. Alec, I'm good at video game Nintendo. I'm gonna end this man's whole career. See? The thing is, though, it's a very... It's a shame that you guys aren't able to see the games that I actually compete in. So, like, Overwatch is the biggest game that I play competitively. And I am, like... <laughs> I am way better at Overwatch than I am at ARMS, or like, Toon, Smash Brothers, any other game in comparison. I think right now I'm number, like, 300 or something in North America. Of all players in North America on PC. And I'm really proud of that. Uh, just press B after this, I will. I will do that. Overwatch, yes Iceberg Mike, Overwatch. Yeah, I play in North America on PC. My rank changes every day, though, because there are so many people playing, but... Dude, look here, I'm summed already. <laughs> hey, man, it's a, it's a fun game. All I gotta say. I play support in every game I play. Need a support buddy? Sure. Sure, I'm always looking for more people to play Overwatch with, if that's what you're referring to. Oof! All for health better not be in Gen 8. <laughs> Oh, jeez. You know, the only thing I'm hoping for Gen 8, which is probably... Probably a very much a pipe dream, is Mega Evolution to make a return again. As much as I like Z-moves and as cool and flashy as they are, I just feel like they're not as strong of a feature as Mega Evolutions are. Mega Evolutions, by nature, I feel like are just so much cooler and interesting. Oof, my god. Have we won a single headlock match other than the first one? <laughs> That's just because I always wanted to be with you. Yeah, cursed. <laughs> I understand your sentiment, but cursed. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back, Flying Galaxy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, Alec, have you played Fire Emblem Heroes? Yes, I play relatively regularly. Um... I only really play when there's like a, a banner that's going on that I'm actually interested in. 
Um, but like, I, I do the spring ones, I do the ones for Easter, I do the ones for Christmas and Halloween and stuff, because they add a lot of cool uh, new units and stuff with super cool costumes. But, um... <laughs> that's usually the only time I play. I don't play it to grind through the story or anything. I just like to um, summon orms and go for like the whole gacha thing. Sometimes I'll play through the story, like book two. I still haven't completed book two yet. But um, I need to take some time one day to actually grind through that. Because I like the story, the main story, but like all the side quests and like events and... I should probably just say side quests. All the side quests and stuff like that don't really entice me as much as the actual main stories. Oh, Jesus. Eevee's playing Springtron. He's gonna go for these EMPs. Oh my Christ. I'm interested for the bridal one right now. It looks interesting. I've never been one for like the whole bridal aesthetic thing, idea, but it'll be fun to do nonetheless, I guess. Ow, this sucks. All right, I'm gonna lurk on here, gonna go make dinner. Sounds good, sounds good. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out and lurking. Sorry, I can't play Switch and watch my PC at the same time. It's all good, it's all good, Crackle Lock. Oh my God, I appreciate your company nonetheless. Oh my God, this EMP is ridiculous. How is it? Okay. Oh my god, there I go. Is Springtron a top tier character or something? I feel like EMP is so overpowered. I'm just sitting here in a corner trying not to get smacked. There I go. <laughs> the Legendary Lucida was released on last July. That's what I'm waiting for. What do you think I'm waiting for, anime? <laughs> that was Dog Weasel, by the way. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember. You, you were playing some pretty good matches whenever we were fighting each other. Okay, I feel broken. I'm not doing this again. You are broken! God, Springtron's probably like my worst matchup. I don't get the EMP thing. Like, how am I supposed to... Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna power through this. I'm gonna stop complaining and actually play the game. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna win this through sheer willpower. Oh no! I grabbed way too early. Dang it. Okay. Oh, I should have thrown a punch! Oh, that was my bad on the reaction time. Okay. I'm starting to be able to read when that's coming out a little bit better, but it doesn't matter now because I'm already dead! <laughs> Oh my god, Springtron is mid-low, he's a noob killer. He struggles a lot once you get his strats. I guess that's what it is, because... Man, it's like, it's really hard for me to understand how to fight against EMP, but I think... I think the, the key here is to watch whenever he's charging it up, move backwards appropriately, and then fight from a distance again. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Alex should not be allowed to dodge? Why should I not be allowed to dodge? What the heck? Wait, who is top tier then? I'm pretty sure Ribbon Girl is. If I had to guess. I don't know. I feel like Maleev's gonna tell us in a second, but I feel like Ribbon Girl is probably one of the highest tier characters in the game. I'm back and eating noodle salad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what even is noodle salad? <laughs> Alexander says, I used to really like uh, Fire Emblem, cool strategy game with great heroes, that makes me think, but now it's just pay money for orb and waifus. Yeah, I guess gachas just aren't really your thing, Alexander. The Fire Emblem Three Houses looks amazing. Ribbon is mid. Darn it! Top tier is Dr. Coil, Max Brass, and Kid Cobra. I can see Kid Cobra. I can see Kid Cobra and Dr. Coil as well. They, Dr. Coil seems like a very technical character. You know? I don't know if that term means anything to you, but in, in Smash-related terms, a technical character is a character like Fox, um, characters like the Olimar, probably, fits in that category. Um, Rob, I guess, Snake, a couple of those kinds of characters. If I had to label some of them, I feel like, in my opinion, those would be considered technical fighters, and in, it seems like Dr. Coil kind of fits that bill. I was gonna go to bed two hours ago, now I'm flushed with adrenaline. Darn you people and your fun game! 
<laughs> Technical exists in ARMS too. I'm sure it does, but I just I don't know this game enough to know who is and who isn't. But if you do, then I would love to know. I like excitement, not give us ta not give us a uh, type money. Give us Wait, hold on. Am I reading this wrong? I feel like I'm having a stroke. I like excitement, not give us ask type money and we'll let you do something games. Okay, I get what you mean, but at the same time, I'm reading it and I'm lost. <laughs> I love the getcha mechanic, so I always grind orbs, so I won't have to spend money. Yeah, that's usually what I do. I don't, I don't spend money on those kinds of games. I just love arms. I'm so happy. Ah, oh, you guys are so cool. The arms community seems very, very nice and welcoming. Thank you all so much for all the newbies here that are new to the stream for t joining in and uh, filling me in on all the additional things that I didn't know about this game before. Ribbon is fairly technical with all the mix-ups she has, but can become very predictable. Maybe that's my weakness, too. I feel like once someone understands my formula, they'll, like, do this, then this, then this, then it's pretty easy to- whoops, and it's really easy to beat me. Can I send my noodle salad in the Discord hashtag food if there is? Yes! Do it, and there is, to answer your question. <sighs> it's mainly explosions and there, now. <laughs> I mean, top tier snake play is actually pretty interesting, but if you're just playing on quick play online, then yeah, it's very much just like exactly what you said. What the Wario autocorrect hated me? I meant give us money and we'll let you do something. Oh my lord, help me. <laughs> it's okay, Magic Vasco. I still understood what you were saying. <laughs> I still got it. I think Kid Cobra and curved arms are hard countered Alex jumping. I think so too. The curved ones really throw me for a loop whenever whenever someone throws those out. Oof, man, no one is playing ranked at this time of day. What time is it? 7... 7.15 for me. 7.15 Central, so... The latest it's gonna be here in North America is probably gonna be, like, 9? 9 o'clock? I don't know, but I guess, I guess it is a weekday, too, so maybe people are going to sleep. I am, but no lobby. <laughs> Ugh, maybe, maybe this game will finally cue us against each other again. Whenever I hear someone say I like FE heroes, all I hear is ha ha, Camilla, ha ha, ha ha, Tharja, ha ha. Nobody is playing ranked usually. Are they, what, what modes are they playing? So I can find them. Is it more so just like the casual party matches? <laughs> and this game's soundtrack is so good. I feel like streaming this game just this once is probably going to keep this main theme stuck in my head for like the next two weeks. <laughs> it, they, there's just so many earworms on this game soundtrack, it's hard to escape them. I don't use Camilla, I like Corrin. Ooh. Ooh, you use Corrin? I have a full team of... Uh, I think the team that I have in Fire Emblem Heroes right now is Lucina, uh, Sonya, I, I think that's her name. Um, Amilla and Tiki? I think that's my current team at the moment. But those, that's just because those are my highest ranked. Is the meta ever going to change if they don't release any more patches? I probably not. But at the same time, if it's anything like other competitive games that uh, have since dropped the idea of balance patches, it'll become solely reliant on people discovering new tech with characters. So once that happens, then you'll see a meta shift again, but as far as ARMS goes, I don't know if all of that's been found out already, or what? Um, because I'm still very much on the bottom of, uh, competitive play. I'm not super experienced in this game or anything. <laughs> Can I post a link to my ARMS drawings on here? I'm not on Twitter. Um, you, you can try. I don't think Nightbot will let you, though. Pretty sure Nightbot's gonna yell at you, but if you have a Discord, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to things like posting your artwork, general discussion, video game talk, anime talk, all that stuff. So if you have that, feel free to join our Discord server, or if not, um, I also have an Instagram. Well, that's an option too. Rioma is husband oh my gosh, you and Lobster Boy. <laughs> Both me and Alec are looking for a match, yet nothing. Morkso, what's your rank? What's your rank in this game? Oh, 
Camilla Summer, Camilla Summer outfit. Magic user, nice. Nice. Zura is actually really good too. I need I need to get better at uh, Fire Emblem so I can actually utilize the dancer class more effectively because I feel like I just don't use them right. I love large warrior men with majestic hair. <laughs> Mika, if that's the case, then I'm super surprised you haven't actually played Fire Emblem yet. There's that game is chock full of those kinds of characters. <laughs> I haven't played I haven't played since last year, so one. Oof. Well, that's probably why we're not finding each other. In China, if you don't slurp your noodles, they will be like, who are you? What? Is that where you live? I only use male corn because of a statement or something. <laughs> Hate female corn and female robin. That is so rude. Alec, my dear, games cost money. Money I don't have. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> wow, the game uh, the game gave me a notification on my phone that I could use voice chat from earlier. Oh man, we're not finding anybody. Finding anybody. I guess we'll do um I guess we'll do this. We'll just practice with a couple of other characters in the moment. For the moment. He is twin uh, Lola Pop. Wait, what are her colors? Like a chocolate one. Like a. That one's kind of cool too. Oh, here we go! Finally! I was about to start. Okay, whatever. That's okay, game. Okay. Fine, you could have done this earlier, but... <laughs> Evie, I think we're the only ones queuing right now. <sighs> They're meant to be supporters rather than attackers. If they attack, they will die, or they won't kill at least for Azura. Yeah, I, I'm, that's the idea that I'm getting to. Oh my god, he's playing Dr. Coil. Whoops, I didn't mean to choose these two. I wanted to equip my proper arm, but that's okay. Best waifu on Discord, I will go contest this fact later when the stream is over. I'm gonna go investigate what you've posted and tell you whether you're right or wrong. Oh, I forgot she always floats. So why is this character top tier? Can anyone can anyone fill me in on that? <laughs> why are these punch what the You can do You just disappeared for a second. You will love it. We'll see about that. We will see about that anime. Oh my! Ooh, that was close. Very close. Oh! All right, my guy. I gotta go. I'll holla at you later. Have a good one, Iceberg Mike. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you. Ooh! Have a good rest of your night, man. He's just living forever with this 2 HP that he has. 1 HP! Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a goofy round, what the heck? Okay. I'm gonna actually equip my loadout this time. Okay, chiller and popper, that's all we need. That's all we need. I don't have good arms on her. Ugh. Oh, that's totally fine. I feel like you're doing the best with what you have, to be honest. Oh, that hit me, dang it! Two fifty, alright, it's not so bad. These reeds! Oh! I need a shield more, too. Oof!
need to start curving these punches too. Very effective. Oof. GG, Eevee. GG. Dr. Coil, man. I try. I feel like I remember myself trying to pick her up like a while ago. Back when she first came out and for some reason I just couldn't get a handle on her. Coil's default loadout is best used aggressively. Get close to your foe and, and smother them out. <laughs> that sounds violent. Please no. GG not using her again. We need a husbando's channel. You can use the waifu's channels for that. Ready? It's totally acceptable. Beyond that, her default loadout is pretty bad. Just dropped my drawn stuff in the Discord. Heck yeah, Cracklewalk. I'll go give it a look here in a little bit when the stream is over. Dum, 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 dum. Crack is best artist. Oh yeah. That's awesome. That is super cool. The waifu channel doesn't discriminate. That is true. That is very, very true. Min Min? Min Min for the win. Lose, lose. All right. All right. I have dropped my noodle sal- You dropped your noodle salad or you mean you dropped it in the, in the Discord? There's a difference there. Oh, I tried to read it. Oh my goodness! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. And crackers! Ah, no! Well, you know what? That's fine. That is okay with me. Get out of here, get out of here. There was probably no reason for me to wait that long to use this, but... There we go. I did anyway. Eevee, you were so low! You were so low! Oh my god! Ow! Aries! Oh my gosh, thank you! Oh god, I just died for that. <laughs> thank you so much for your membership. Had to pick this back up, got a new card, and forgot to change it on YouTube, lol. <laughs> thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, by the way, how was Vegas? How was Vegas? I want to know more about it. I don't know if you posted a video or anything like that recently just talking about it, but... I would love to know. I would love to know. Your trip's gonna be awesome. Or your trip was awesome, I assume. I'm going on a trip here sometime in the near future. It's gonna be great. California, LA, Los Angeles. Thank you so much for joining me though. Aries, I appreciate you. If you're gonna be around tomorrow, um, anytime past 5 p.m., we are gonna be playing some Jackbox games. And since you're a member, you'll get priority access to all the games that we play. So, it'll, I'll be posting the room codes earlier in the sponsor-only channel. Doing that E3 right? Heck yeah! Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Jelly, we need to be, you need to come with me sometime. Oh my goodness! All right, I need to focus here. I need to focus here. I'm not trying to get clowned on by Evie. All right, well I think it's gonna happen anyway. We'll see. We can bring this back. I'm gonna donate my sister donuts. I don't know. Just the first thing that came to my head. Oh my god, he's so low! <laughs> no! Okay, we can wait to stop, maybe. Okay, we timed it out. <laughs> Somehow we brought that back! Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! I didn't do a drawing of you and arms done in three minutes. I'm excited. I'm gonna go take a look at it here after this match. Oh, I'm so stressed! This match is so close! Wow, that actually hit. Nice 
Nice try. Nice try, Eevee. Two, 300. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's gonna do it to me, too. Oh, 330? This ain't good. This ain't good. He's gonna bring it back! I had such a lead! Maybe? Maybe? Oof. He's punching right through my... Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Eevee! Eevee, GG's! Holy cow! Oh, that was such a close match! <laughs> Holy whack-a-mole, I was not expecting that. Oh, I was fully... I fully accepted that you were going to win that round, and somehow I was able to bring it back. But GG's, man, that was a good round. Oh my god, okay. We're going to go back to the main menu here. We're going to do one more ranked match. And then, uh, and then we'll call it an evening. So, whether we get Eevee or not, we'll see. <laughs> I get mad when somebody loses my waifu. <laughs> are you talking about, uh, Min Min? Freckle Lock, or are you talking about Ribbon Girl? Because if it's not Ribbon Girl, you're wrong. <laughs> Check out the art. Oh, yeah. Uh, where's my phone? There it is. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Magic Vasco here just drew myself as an arms character and <laughs> there you guys go that is uh what i would look like as an arms fighter i hope you can see that in the little window there but <laughs> i like how you drew my hair like super saiyan like is that what it looks like to you guys <laughs> man that is hilarious why are my legs springs too none of the characters in this game have springy legs except for me apparently <laughs> That is a beautiful work of art. Thank you for that, Magic Vasco. I appreciate it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save that masterpiece. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Now we're just gonna wait for this match to come up. What would your arm's name be? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Would I have to have an arm's name? Do Is Ribbon Girl not their name? Like, does she have an actual name other than Ribbon Girl? Name for Spring Man? If that's the case, then I would have to think about a good arms name that I would pick for myself. The Twin Tell. I can unlock all these too. Let's see. Having extendable arms is great, but arms fighters still have to put in that gym time to stay on top of their game. No pain, no gain. Lanky Alec. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> It's goofy and it gets the point across. An elegant afternoon. This. Everything Twintel does, she does with elegance and grace. Twintel is such another cool concept for a character, too. Twintel's awesome. Like, I would just love to have these, like, put up as posters or something, because his artwork is so good. In addition to blocking incoming arms, Twintel's aura has a beguiling fragrance with top notes with top notes of jasmine and rose atop a base of knock you out. <laughs> Love it. Love it. What's this? Taking a breather? When wearing her fighting suit, Mechanica has to be careful that the suit doesn't overheat. And that she doesn't overheat either. <laughs> oh man, these are all so good. They're all so good! What else do we have here? This baby spring man? Our hero. Oh no, okay. <laughs> that face, I totally remember this artwork because of that face that Spring Man is making. <laughs> oh, I wish I could zoom in. Don't forget to use arms, uh, wait. Don't forget to use arms coins to unlock new arms. Oh yeah, well, I know this, yeah. I like the artwork, it's so good. I wish you earned, I wish you earned coins at a faster rate so that I could just hurry up and unlock everything already. <laughs> but maybe that would be, uh, maybe that would be too inflated. Alright. We're gonna wait some more. Um, noodle salad. Okay. Let me go look at the food channel on Discord. Hold on. Oh, that's just pasta. Noodle salad? What? 
Isn't that just pasta? Or am I or am I uncultured? <laughs> you want fast, easy coins? Just speed run Grand Prix. I've heard that that's really good. As I also remember, like this really early method that I remember doing like a while ago, and I can't remember. I think it was one of the mini games. Lanky Alec. Heck yeah, that would be. I think that would be it. That's my arms name. The only reason I had Effie Heroes was to find a bunch of foreigns in that one Xander that's shirtless with the fish. <laughs> Works says app at work, or say a work rivaling the works of Leonardo DiCaprio, famous painter, as opposed to Leonardo da Vinci, award-winning actor. Uh, it has seasoning and Italian sauce. Oh. How is it that every single stream you guys manage to make me hungry? You have to be tall to be lanky, though. Mika! No, you. Just, no, you. Alright? I probably shouldn't have said that, though, because apparently you're also really tall, so... That probably doesn't... That probably doesn't go well for my argument. <laughs> the cord I use is purple, and looks like they're dying of a heat stroke. Oof! Oof! I posted the Xander and waifus. Please see him, he is precious. I, I will go look at that after the stream is over. I sent you the wrong picture. It was just a realistic portrait of you, I sent. Is that what I look like to you, huh? The big, like just a big amalgamation of slinkies for arms and legs? Is that what it is? I am giant woman, you are. You would tower over me. <laughs> Well, um, this is taking a while to find our final match of the day, so <laughs> once we get this freaking game undergoing, once we get this freaking game going, we'll be able to finally say the stream is going to be ending soon, but man, oh, man, oh man, I'm going to take a look at the badges, I guess, while we wait, too, finding stuff to pass the time. We got a KO after time ran out in a one-on-one -on -one battle, never give up. Fighting in Ribbon Ring, 100 light boxes broke on the stage in one round. Hit rank 11 in ranked match. Fought in 100 rounds. Wait, what? I'm just now getting this? You've thrown over 5,000 punches. Three ranked matches in a row you've won. You're unstoppable. Consecutive wins after consecutive losses in ranked match. Uh, you've earned 3,000 coins. Oh my gosh, all this stuff. You fought in 10 rounds of Ribbon Girl vs. Twintel. Oh, that badge is so cool. I want to equip that right now. 10 pieces of art. Played Team Fight for the first time. Played versus Headlock for the first time. Floor at the Mausoleum Pro. Okay, finally. Oh, that badge is so cool! Oh, I love it! Yay! I have a new badge! Do get arms. Unlock some new arms. Okay, fine. Do that. Actually, where is it? Um... Get arms, there it is. Get arms for Ribbon Girl since she's all I ever play. Let's do long timer. Long timer. I don't think this game is gonna happen. Eevee, are you still queuing? You're my only hope. Oh, crap, I forgot how to play this. There we go. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, all right. Perfect. <laughs> so those boxes in the back are actually bonus, um, bonus boxes of arms that you can unlock if you hit them. Ring man. Ring man. Gotten three so far. Not bad. Not bad. Twin tail package. Oh, twin tail package. There we go. I'm still queuing. Oh my god. Oh my god, one day we're gonna find a match and it's gonna be great. One day it's gonna put us against each other. But in the meantime, it's kind of fun to just look at all the unlockables and stuff in this game. Man, when they said long timer, they really meant it. Did you try resetting? I'll try resetting after this minigame. Is that bite and bark? Oh yeah, how many 
packages of arms that we have already. There's so many. Is this the max? It still isn't. Springman, boom. Oh my god, come on! Thank you. Ah, I was gonna hit the timer too. Awesome. Woof! I think we got a lot that round. McPim, welcome to the stream! Hello. How are you doing, my friend? A little retorture for Ribbon Girl. We've got the roaster. Blue Flames gives these gloves mesh more hotness. Have every arm for Ribbon Girl. I need to do that. I still need to do that. Huh? Some of these characters, I barely have anything for them. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing good. <laughs> That's awesome, McPim. Oh, crap! No! Ah! Okay. Whoops. I hope that doesn't spend them. <laughs> Alright, let's try and uh, requeue for this. We'll see what happens. I love this new badge that I have. It's so cool. So I need someone to tell me what is what are top tier arms for Ribbon Girl. That, I don't know. That, I don't know. Um, I feel like um, the leave here is going to have a better idea of that than I will. Let's see here. Well, Slinkies are pretty strong and sturdy, so not Slinkies, maybe Pool Noodles. <laughs> pool Noodles are cool too, alright? Alright? Just get that. Make sure you remember that. Alright? Pool Noodles are cool. They should call them Pool Koodle. Kooldles! Because they're cool. I don't know. I tried to make a pun, but I don't think it worked out very well. I love this new badge! gloves. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> the gloves are great. <laughs> Gotta go, Alex. Say the thing. Also, husbandos are greater than waifus. That is a lie, but have a good rest of your night, Alexander. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good rest of your night, sir, and I'll probably see you in the Discord later. There's much more to it, but generally gloves are your best bet, except Sparky. Spark What's wrong with Sparky? Sparky the glove. Alright, Evie. Whoops. We'll see if it finds you. If it doesn't find anyone in the next minute or two, then I'll probably just do a quick, uh, quick versus match online and then call it a day. Okay, so chiller, roaster, stuff like that. I guess. I have one of those equipped, but I don't have them both. Sparky is painfully slow? That's so weird. You would think they'd all be the same speed, because they're like the same kind? Same kind of glove, I guess? Or same kind of arm? I don't know. Versus. We might just have to do a party match, I think. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna have to do. I will keep on uh, making Nightbot yeet. But he's, that's what he's there for. That's his only service to us, is just to yeet in chat. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a party match. It's gonna take forever to find a ranked one. So we're gonna go ahead and go Ribbon Girl. And we'll wait. Dude, look how quick that was! Oh my gosh, all these people! Just hiding in party match mode. They're not even queuing for rank. They're not even thinking about it. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's make this a win. We're not gonna stop playing till we get a win. Oh, I'm in? Are you serious? Did you find a ranked match and I just left the queue, Eevee? If that's the case, I'm gonna be so mad. Arms is cancelled, if that's the case. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but, man, that's so dumb. <laughs> They're getting ready for Party Crash. So, oh my god, uh, yeah. I forgot about items and what they do. Did my teammate already die? Where is he? Oh, there he goes. Cool! Can Alec carry this, carry this match? Probably not. I totally forgot about Misango as a character, too. This guy's just going for grabs! What a troll! What a cheeser! Ow. Alright, Springman. I see you over there with your super special move. Just 
Oh my god, there I go. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Dude, my teammate was coming! I so early! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Misango, where does Misango rank as a character on a on a tier list? I wonder. Look at him. Look at him. Moana looking. <laughs> Moana looking dude. Um Yeah, so Party Crash I guess is coming up. When when does that actually start? I'm learning so much about arms today that I didn't think I was going to, but here I am. <laughs> oh Eevee's in our lobby! Man, wouldn't that be something if in the next <laughs> in the next game that this lobby gives me it pits me against Eevee? Wouldn't that be hilarious? So those two are playing on the same console, I see. Alright, Monkey Man. Monkey Man, this is gonna be our last match of the night. Let's see what happens. A 1v1, finally. If you press this X on the main menu, it tells you. Oh, okay. I'll check that out here in a second. Alright, versus Ninjara. Ninja guy, ninja kid. Let's see what happens. Abza! He's playing on the low ground. Look at this monster! Alright, I've got your number this time, Monkey Man. I've got you. I've got you. He's not even blocking! Oof! Okay, that was good. That was good. Trying to grab, he punched right through it to counter. That's... I don't know if that was intentional, but that was really good nonetheless. Solid amount of damage. Perfect. As soon as Alex stopped looking for a match, I found one. That's so messed up! I'm being discriminated against by arms. Doesn't want me to play in ranked anymore. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Also, do the ranked matches count towards Party Crash results? Or is it just public games? Like, friendly games, I guess. Alright, throw something. Throw something. You've only got 10 seconds, mister, to make a do- make a move! Gonna time you out! <laughs> oh, I saw you was gonna throw a punch just now and then BOOM! Oh, that was satisfying. Oh man. Ribbon Girl is so fun. This whole game, like, here's the thing. This game in general, I don't even have to play Ribbon Girl, it's just really, really fun. I feel like the core gameplay is just great. Man, it sucks that this game is going so un- so underappreciated these days, but anyways, that is going to bring us to the very end of today's ARMS live stream. Holy cow, guys! Holy cow, I actually was not expecting as big of a turnout as there was today, but um, you guys really seem to enjoy this, so um, I had a lot of fun. This was probably the most fun I've had on a stream in a while. Um, well, I don't know about a while, but this was definitely one of the more fun streams in recent memory, so... Oh, God, man. Arms, what a fun game. What a fun game. I need to play this more. But anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in. Everyone today that played games with me and everyone that's new here to the channel uh, that joined for the purpose of watching me play Arms. Uh, Planet Scrap Star, Crackle Lock, and then there, I think there was a few other, um, a few more of you, but thank you to everyone that tuned in, gave me some tips, and informed me on things I didn't even know about this game. Because I did, I was actually not aware that there was still a competitive scene for um, for arms. So, ah, thank you so much for that. I super duper appreciate it. Um, I usually have more to say because there's there's other stuff to say, but I guess not. Oh, so tomorrow, so tomorrow, we're gonna be starting stream at the same time as we did today. Although, uh, we're gonna be playing some Jackbox games. So if you guys feel like it or feel so inclined, feel free to join us for some Jackbox games tomorrow. As I said earlier, the game is totally free, so if you have some spare time, or if you want to tune in and play with us, feel free. The games start at 5 p.m. Central, so hopefully to see, you, hopefully we'll see everyone there. It's going to be super duper fun, lots of chaos, lots of hilarity going on, so 
even if you're not able to play, I think it's going to be worth your time to just tune in and watch how much craziness goes on in those Jackbox games. But anyways, um, JMC Canada, J JM Canada, sorry, I read that wrong. JM Canada, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for the stream. No problem. Thank you all to you guys for informing me and giving me all the helpful insight that you did over the course of today's stream. I was honestly anticipating just playing this game and like talking to a few of you, but man, you guys really seem to enjoy ARMS. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that. So um, that makes me really happy. I don't know. Just seeing people appreciate this game for what it is, I think is super awesome. But uh, what's Jackbox, Alec? Flying Galaxy? You'll have to tune in and find out tomorrow. But it's free to join, so if you have some spare time, feel free to come play with us. Um, I'm generally pretty busy with things, so there's a good chance I won't be around again, but if I see you around, I'll drop by. I would love to see you, Maliv. Thank you so much for tuning in and all your helpful insight. I appreciate it. Um, I am waiting for food. The smells are coming from the kitchen. I'm watching this dude playing arms while glitching. I'm rhyming. <laughs> arms, legs, heads, and hair. The stream has to end there. Yeah. I wish I could play for a lot longer, but it's getting close to that time, so I was... Honestly, not expecting to play this game as long as we did, but I had fun for pretty much every second. This is such a good game. Ah, I'm on such a high right now. Anyway, I shall not be there because I'll be watching Aladdin in the theater. We have to tell us how it is, Mika. Whenever the me whenever the movie lets out, hop on Discord. Hop on the Discord and uh, tell me what you thought about it. Bye from Germany. Have a good one, Crackle Walk. Goodbye to you as well from America. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Each and every single one of you guys, you're all awesome and amazing. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. You know, I usually have more to say at the end of these streams, but I think tonight's going to be very short and sweet. So without further ado, there's only one thing left to say, and that is, of course, as always, I'm Alec and stuff, and I will see you all again real soon. Bye. Bye. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning in. God. Oh, man. This game is so fun. This game is really, really fun. I cannot get over that. Oh, jeez. Well. You guys have a good rest of your night, and look forward to tomorrow's stream, where we play through some Jackbox games. It's going to be fun. It's going to be lit. Um, and on Sunday, I have a video coming out all about my thoughts on Detective Pikachu, the movie. So look forward to that as well. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and pick a song to go out on. Let's see, one of my favorite songs here. One of my favorite songs from the ARMS soundtrack. No, it's on here somewhere. See, it's stuck in my head already. All right. I think this is a good one to go out on. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and play the music now and mute my mic. Have a good rest of your night, everyone. Love each and every single one of you. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. <laughs>